and it looks like ooh, it is time to play the game. Guess you only get one chance in life to play Disco Elysium. Okay. Hello, everyone. Wow, look at them skies. This is a pretty little picture here. I, I wasn't really taken in the title screen until just now. Because I was just making sure everything was working. Um, cool. What's that little eye do? Nothing? Oh, there we go. Did that just lag really badly? So we have quick save, help. F5 to quick save. I didn't realize this was a quick save type of game. But hey, uh, Fack and Sally and Sniper Kirby. You're like Sniper Wolf, but combined with Kirby. Um, I'm sure they will teach us this stuff. Need to pass time, buy a book. Uh, Revachol is pronounced Revachol. Orange is pronounced Oranye. Kalazje is pronounced Klazje. Okay. Yay. Yay. Rivashol. Okay, I will maybe remember that. Uh, drugs raise learning caps, but they're bad for your health. Why is that in parentheses or kind of pseudo parentheses? You, I don't think you're late at all, Sniper Kirby. We're just starting this right now. Um, okay, um, I've never played this. I don't really know much about this. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and tap QRL to seamlessly switch languages in game. Wow. Huh, I wonder how many people actually make use of that. All right, let's, let's just go ahead and start. Oh, archetype. So we have thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. We have five intelligence, one psychology. Would that be like people, analyzing people? Two fees and four mot and comes with an encyclopedia. Sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Very little intelligence. Oh wait, what's this right here? Oh, it says right there, okay. So your capacity to reason. Your power to influence yourself and others. Oh, it's physique. Why isn't it spelled with a P-H? That's kind of weird. Uh, how well your body's built. Motorics, how well you move your body. Interesting. Oh, hey, Lord Dartha says, Jeremy's, I'm your biggest fan. Wow. Well, I appreciate that. Um, Dax says, I have a recommendation based on what we discussed earlier. All right, let me just finish up reading up the last of this. Uh, I got physical. Extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Well, you say that, but the sensitive guy's just as dumb. Look at that. Um, yeah, what is the totals for these here? We have 9, 10, 12, 7, 8, 12. Oh, I guess they're all 12. That's fair. And then we can create our own character. Wait, Inland Empire? That is a place in Southern California that I'm not that far from. That's weird seeing that there. The best streamer, says Sniper Kirby. What, what, what the? I have fans, when did this happen? Uh, all right, I guess we'll create our own character. That way we can optimize. And Fag is recommending we do 4422, which is, uh, yeah, I guess that adds up to 12, doesn't it? Whoa. Oh, I like that you can actually see. Like, there's names for it. Great, good, average, weak, terrible. 
So the tops is genius. So what is the top one for Psyche? Oh, they all say genius? I have a genius physique? That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping that each one would have their own title. Um. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> I feel like I could agree with uh, the balancing that Fak is suggesting. Because some intelligence is good. Like, like a decent amount of intelligence, decent amount of psyche is good. So we can like read people better and, you know, influence them. And then we're not, we're not like the most pathetic physically and agility wise. We're a little bit better than the worst. So like, yeah, I think I can agree with this. Uh, so I think we can. You can do whatever you want, but you don't want one in either psyche or physique. Yeah, I feel like a one in anything just seems like, sounds like a bad idea. Do I remember Candy from Fighting Vipers? I don't remember Fighting Vipers. Is that a game or a show? All right, so we can set a skill for each uh, stat, I guess it looks like. So, logic, will draw, intellectual power, deduce the world. Hack the world. High levels logic will be able to solve even the most complicated puzzle. You'll be very proud. That's susceptible to intellectual flattery. Ooh, interesting. So this is like a real like RPG, huh? I didn't. I wasn't really sure what this game was, honestly. Oh, you only have one hit point in those respective HP bars. That is, yeah, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, it's a Sega fighting game. Fighting Vipers. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever played that. I do like being empathetic. Yes. So that may, I, I get why you uh, suggested the ones you did. Um. Call upon all your knowledge. Produce fascinating trivia. So this is deduction. This is calling upon knowledge. Uh, the art of persuasion. Ooh, lying and detecting lies. Okay, drama. Conceptualization, understand creativity, see art in the world. Ooh, that's a that's a cool one. So hard to choose between these. Visual calculus, oh no. Reconstruct crime scenes, make laws of physics work for the law. I don't like the term calculus in anything because I do not like advanced math at all. Like, and it, like, Math that's like far below calculus I already hate, so it's like calculus. I did notice this, but I mean that's a lot to read. I've done enough reading in the past. Uh, I don't know. However long I've been doing vitals. Hold yourself together. Oh, well, I should probably choose between these before I move on. So, do I want very good deduction skills? Uh, a wealth of knowledge to pull from? Do I want to be good in discourse and persuasion? Do I want to be able to lie and detect lies? Um... The creativity, see the art in the world. That's such a cool concept. I don't know how practical that'll be, but it I like the idea of it. You don't get one for each stat, you get one from all these. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I get one. The cool four is a good primer to just get a glance. Cool. Oh, creative psychedelic fanciers, critics. Forensic scientists, tactical fighters, math-minded people. Undercover cops, thespians of the stage, the psychopaths, that makes sense. Sociopaths, you. Ideologues, conversationalists, would-be politicians. Would-be, that's very specific. Thinkers, historians, trivia freaks. Analyst, pure rationalist, obviously logician. 
I mean, I'm very uh, tempted to go for the creativity one, but I kind of feel like logic might fit me well. Uh, I think I'm going <clears> to... <throat> It would definitely be between these two. You're only picking one. Oh, I'm picking from all of these. Okay. Oh, so I do need to look down. Okay. All right, then. Um, Volition. Well, for sane people, well-adjusted cops, the non-suicidal. Are we playing uh, like some type of law enforcement entity? Uh, Inland Empire, what is this? Hunches and gut feelings, dreams and waking life. Is that named after the the county? Or the city or whatever it would be? Very natural investigators and mental creators. Empathy. Judges of character, interviewers, interrogators. I feel like this would fit me. I might go with that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through these. Um Leaders Act for Psychological Warfare, respect junkies. I don't think I need to be a leader. Go for cops, cop aficionados, pretend cops. <laughs> East for a D corpse. Or, I guess. Diplomats, charmers, sociopaths, fighters who can take a hit. Well, we probably don't want to bother with these because we're not focused in this section. Anyways, it would make more sense to focus on something that we're actually good in. Cool for muscle men, bare knuckle brawlers, gym teachers. Unstoppable fighters, guys who won't die masochists. What if you get like this, but you have only a two points? What does that mean? Inland Empire's imagination and vibes in Empire of the Mind. Oh. I've only ever heard that relating to the... The, uh... Area. High Strung Investigators. Computers. Mind Detail. Shot Dodgers. Pinball Heads. Uh, 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 instrument players. I play a little bit of that. Compose. Card players, military fetishist, cool people. Okay, so between empathy and logic, I think those are, are my two ones that I'm leaning the most towards. Um, now logic entails deducing, but I... But, um, whoops, empathy is also kind of works into that because it's about understanding people, judging character, interviewing, interrogating. I feel like those kind of go together. Poppy playtime, what's that? Um, I think I'm going to go with empathy. Yeah, I'll, I'll we'll we'll see how this goes. I guess I, I we can't spend too much time because I'm not gonna stream super long tonight. Um, solid choice. Poppy Playtime is a horror game. Signature skill means you get plus one to its starting value and max. Well, isn't that our only skill? We don't get any of these other ones, right? Or... Are you saying... Oh, I'm just gonna... Hold on. Try to get into the meat of this a little, or at least past the... Uh... The, the appetizer section. Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thomas. Okay. I've never played the the mother games, but they look fun. Think of like Fallout, how you have your special attributes and your skills. Right. There is nothing. Only warm primordial Yay. blackness. Your They're narrating for me, that's great. Any, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Cool. That's 
good. Ever. Oh. That's not so good. That sounds like death. Never. Ever. Ah, yep. Non existence. Yep. That's what. Ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. Okay, why did he just say that? Like Austin Powers. Okay, I guess we have to keep non existing then. And an audience amount of time passes. It is only void of struggle. Okay, so this no, is th this is our our carnation here. This is our 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 coming into being. We've never existed before at this point. Um the ex wives are contained within it. Wait. In order an inordinate amount of time passes, it is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. What was that about the ex? Uh an awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. It does sound so like death, doesn't it? Some lurid acidic source, it's bloated and shameful a ball of meat surrounding you. Mm. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat. Uh, let's plunge back into the There's no ball of meat, no light in the formless nothing, just nice women. How would you cough up some more of that sweet of what? This is weird. We're just literally like wading through nothingness, but in just different phrases pertaining to that. Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things for people who don't want to give them to me. Okay, yeah, we need to get into existence here. Do you really? I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. What Limbic system you changed. Did you see that? Into oblivion. Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? I don't know. Fear and apprehension. Oh. You should ask us out there first. Uh, okay, now the Inland Empire is now talking to us. Easy success. I guess this is something we're, we, this is a t our first test, maybe? This is a Thanatos impulse. This doesn't seem like we are like someone who's been living and in, in, are now experiencing non-existence. It feels, it seems to me like this is just, we never existed to begin with and we're deciding on if we should start to exist or not. Um, uh, I should ask what's out there before we come into existence. Okay, what's waiting for me? There's this giant ball there, an evil egg. And the evil apes are juking it out on the board. This is giving me You're Skull right Monkeys that. vibes of all things. It's basically this voice all acting. just evil apes juking it out on a giant board. How big is the ball? How smart are they? <sighs> now the only thing that like bugs me a little here, like maybe like as the game goes on this will change. None of the options seem like they're actually really much different from each other. It's just... It's just, how would you like to phrase your pre-generated response? But this is like the start, so hopefully that's something that'll change over time. Because like, how big is the ball? How smart are they? It's like, what is really the difference between this question? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're joking it out. It's that large. Okay. I'll just ask it again just to see what happens. You can't even make out it's a you can't even you can't you can't you can't you can't, you can't okay. even make infinitus. I guess we had to ask small. both anyways. Infinitely small. Wow. If the apes are that small then the the ants must be really small. This duking it out I keep hearing about, what's that? Paying for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. 
you have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Oh, you. That's sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean drowned? Okay, so the easy success was a check that we passed, and there's hidden, hidden skill checks. Gotcha. You lost. I lost. Dang, they beat me in the face. These are that psychedelic continue button. It's a caprice command. I don't get what we passed just now. Are these like honorary passes? Uh, this Kinema motor carriage. Okay. Uh, I guess we were someone who existed all along. All right, so this is like an isometric. Is that a picture of ourselves? But like, is that how we see ourselves? That's such a disturbing uh, obstruction of our of our face. Magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Okay. You have a hangover. It's like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. That's rude. Real to real tape player still on, rolling empty. Alright, we have a, let's take a bath, maybe. Oh, hold tab to highlight. Okay, so we can see different objects. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liquors. I don't think we can use the bath. Oh, clothes. Cool. Oh, okay. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Jeez. Hot water sprays from the base. The mirror is telling me this? Covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just the outline of a man. That's what it looks like in the bottom left corner, kind of. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Yeah, let's wipe the mirror. So As we can see what we look like. Reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. Uh. Nah, just swipe the mirror. Because if there's something wrong with our face, touching it before seeing it would be worse, I feel like. Behold. Oh, that's not so bad. Look, now we have a more clear picture of ourselves. That's an interesting idea. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Okay, what is this? Some type of superstar. Face of a late stage alcoholic. I'm a superstar. I'm, I'm Lemmy from Motorhead. It appears you're also dead. I know, it kind of seemed like it'd be a jump scare for a second. All right, Sal, you have a good night. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Uh, the face is making it itself, or it just is. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Okay. Oh my God. You can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. Oh, okay. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Wait, so it's super stardom. It's indescribable. It's supposed to look suggest suggestive for the ladies. Insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off to a sad husband kind of way. I don't know if this is actually like affecting our character. I'd... Um... Sure, I'll say that. Which we want to—I mean, we picked empathy as our skill choice. It might have been ten years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Okay, this is new. Dig deep into your mind to locate this source of the expression, 
before we can attempt to stop the expression from happening. And so, okay, here's the first time where it looks like we have um, cool. So these were like checks that I was always, I wanted to have in like the, the newer Fallout games I play, but they just didn't even give you the chance if your stats weren't high enough. It looks like here we have a chance. We just have a low chance or a very low chance when it comes to that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and try to see the source of the expression. We have a low chance. One out of three ain't too bad though. That's like okay odds we could potentially like the rest of you it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past it's locked That's all now. You know for now and this is a very low chance but we might as well try just to see if something happens it's too late okay. like an image on film the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex it ah. would take a minor neurological miracle. Okay. So I don't know if this isn't like, this is just how our portrait and our expression of people look now, and it's something that we may have been able to change if we had passed one of those skill checks. Um, I don't know. What's that, a tie up there? This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie huh. somehow attached itself, or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. I feel like we should pull the fan first to stop it, then we could grab the tie. I don't know what'll happen if we screw up grabbing the tie. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie. Yeah, we should be able to get the tie very easily now. Oh yeah, see? Now now the chance has been... Yeah, we, we'd be pretty bad to fail now. You swoop up there we go. the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. The necktie is no longer contained. Okay. Um. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Of course it does. That's symbolic. If it's your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? Maybe this thing is dangerous somehow. Man, this this is like so overthinking every little thing. <laughs> the nectar is our friends. It's like, dude, we got drunk last night. We got wasted. As you look, that's the answer the to everything here. Uh, let's turn the light. It looks like the lights on already, but let's pull this anyways to see A what terrible happens. Terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Okay, um, I guess we'll turn it back the on. The lights are off. Alright. What else we got going on in here? More clothes? Like a jacket or something? Bright ass blazer? Is that what it said? Clear cut trousers. There we go, we're actually appropriately dressed now with those shoes. Looks like a shoe. Might have to find the other one. I wonder why I have a yellow thing right there, what does that mean? Yep, just one shoe, we gotta find the other one. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Okay. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open oh disco ask blazer um. the window stands broken in its frame cold wind blows in all right let's assess the damage the shards face outward whatever broke this window came from the inside ah so it's probably our fault a fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. 
What did this land? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor. Why is the glass just frozen in midair? That's kind of after trippy. impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. Like a rock, maybe. You're looking for something heavy. All right, Sniper, you have a good fist. one. Thanks for dropping in. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost. As oh large no, as our other it shoe. Have also been heavy enough. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. Okay, we're we're if assessing what. You could still find. Okay, gotcha. What had happened? Outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Um. Uh, I don't need anyone. That's the emo path. A cool wind gushes in. Oh. Your toes curl up. We got XP the for getting a task. That's interesting. Let's click on this real quick. Seems like your green snake skin shoes are missing a partner. Find it before you go venture into the wild unknown. Two shoes are better than one. They sure are. And then let's look at our inventory real quick. So I think we've already equipped everything. He is kind of dressed like a 70s disco era type of guy, huh? I didn't think it was the game's name was going to be that literal. Um, okay. Nine degrees centigrade on a friend. What the heck's that supposed to mean? There's a person. Let's look at what the date is. 2094. Oh, it's 1951? How are we wearing disco clothes? Are we that ahead of our time? Oh, it says 51 though. It could be like 2051 or 3051. Just because it says 51, it doesn't mean it's the one that we're used to. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, I'm a military personnel. All right, let's let's see if we can find out a little about ourselves. And also, Aranya, she's a disco dancer. Uh, no. <laughs> There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Uh. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is literally deciding. Like, this is creating what we are as we unveil. So do I want to be an officer or would I rather be a businessman? Um, sure. I'll, I'll just say that. Yeah, sure, why not? The young woman shakes her head slowly. Okay, maybe not. Officer could be an artistic statement. You're already prone to those. Okay, stage name, disco art is called The Officer. Let's see, wild chief technical officer is what I am. Uh, screw it, let's go, let's see how this works. No, you're a police officer. Okay, sir. never mind. I was taking it too literal. I was thinking that whatever our responses were actually crafting our identity, but no, we are, we are a police officer. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. I was kind of hoping you'd hear the vo another voice go, she takes another drag, but. You've been uh, here for three days on official police business, no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Why don't I remember being a cop? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer? How, we don't even know ourselves. Try the expression on her. Let her know you want her fist. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. It's kind of seems like it'd be funny just to see what would happen. But uh like I wanna try everything almost, but I feel like if we start failing stuff it it could actually lead to bad results. So maybe we shouldn't try every low chance thing. Um I'm gonna do the first one. Could it be because of the drinking? Uh, okay. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. A cop is who you were, it doesn't have to be who you are. Gotcha. 
Yeah, because we basically kind of a fresh mind inside of a blank she back at you. A light body off her eyes. Goodbye. That was a very enthusiastic goodbye. All right then. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. And we picked it up because we're some kind of creep. Okay. There's something on the table. Okay, what is it? Oh, change. Oh yeah. Real, it's real money even. Like, was it Brazilian real or, or is it just real money? <laughs> Let's check out the rest of this floor before we go through any doors. We can edition the satirical newspaper Trompe Le Monde. Oh yeah, I just figured out double clicking to run. Oh, which is good. Alright, let's start going through the doors, door I guess. Is closed. Oh, that's her room. Okay. We don't need to go in there then. At least not yet. Is this another room? Oh, not available, I think it said down there. Okay. And so over here should be the balcony then. Oh, that's the radio talking. It's saying the temperature and everything. Negative 44 degrees. Most people settle for bed after 21. Okay. Hey, double O. Oh, God. Was that supposed to glitch like that? Smell the sea makes you dizzy. We're by the ocean. Hey, our shoe. I assume. Nothing much, uh, double O. I just found my second shoe, so that's pretty cool. Gust of briny wind washes over you. Does red mean I don't Two like it? identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Cool. Like two baby crocodiles. Uh, these do not look like normal cop shoes. Yeah, good uh, good point. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfort. Killed morale plus like zero. Good thing about you. I guess because we didn't have any lost morale yet. Um. Also, it's funny to try the look on her when we're always making that look, but I'll just overlook that for now. The color is associated with the attribute. Ah, oh, okay. Blue for intelligence, purple for psyche, red for physique, yellow for motorics. Interesting, because the broken window was yellow, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So you think that that would have been like intelligence or psyche? All right, we have both shoes, so now we can head down this way. Oh, those loadings are fast. Hello. Well, hang on before we talk to you. Let's... Oh, camera is. Oh, that's not us. I thought we were. A... There was a lady in a wheelchair. My brain just filled in that that was us. Because who knows why. Summer door closed for the winter. Okay. And what's this? This is where the lyrics would be. This looks like a stage. Big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. Speakers connecting to the radio, the music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke head, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Uh, my soul's immense. My soul's modest. It's normal side. My soul's puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. That seems like a fair option. Of course. At this point, Precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard through a PA system. I mean, if you people. insist. This goes well with the theory I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. Uh, what should I sing? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation. So we need to find a song to sing? It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Um... Lamentation sounds good. They'll be able to gauge my soul. I was thinking I could sing something happy. I don't know, man. Lamentation, that's... that's. Serves them right. 
Why serve some right. the face with your sad, tragic song? Who's laughing? Will I make that no. awkward smile at them? Find something tragic to sing first, though. All right. Hello. Oh, hello. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance that was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he is purposely ignoring you. Looks like he's not a fan. Uh, look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. To give you an idea, Jay, I'm already seeing you get dialogue options I never saw. Oh, really? That's interesting. It doesn't seem like there's been that many uh, branches so far, but that's that's interesting. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. The part oh. of the world you are in right That's now. That's good to know. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Uh... That's the great school, right? Look, your buddy is over there. Hmm. Is it kind of bomber jacket? Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. I'll look at the stuff bird again. Work of taxi. Looks like the bird was. This is the great school. Something about. What happened to the bird? Better. Look. Your, why don't you go and I'm just gonna do it again and try the third option. To, looks like the bird. This is the great something about it. Me. Look. Okay, he doesn't. No matter what we do, him, okay? it's a Sophie's choice. Uh, that's not what a Sophie's choice is, but it's an illusion of choice. Um. He pretends not to hear you. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Our Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. She just, you know. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding hmm. something. It's just what? So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. Hey, I didn't say I wasn't. Um, all right. Okay. What was it again? Tab? that up there that's something i can oh that must be the door wait is it what oh, that is up there look at this stuff it doesn't do the thing of grain out options you can't choose it just doesn't present you with all of them ah and he's been wiped clean woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu today starts in man's handwriting this is a water cooler large bubbles rising to the surface okay no. Sure, I'll take this Nosfa head. That looks like it would go outside, maybe. Door is bolted, Simon's kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300. 1 p.m. Soft pair of electric juicer comes from the kitchen, someone's working. Looks like there's change in there, but I can't go in there yet. Does this open? Mess hall reserved for union members. Door opens at 1600. What time is it right now? Oh, it's 8.32. Does that go in real time? Um. What is this, like, arcade machine looking thing? Royal pinball machine is unplugged. Oh, that's unfortunate. So we could talk to you. Maybe you'll be a little more receptive. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Okay. But I want to talk to Hello, you. Hello, sweetie. You shouldn't. Huh? Tab or right click to highlight. Oh, yeah, that is a lot better. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know that. Talking and reading books is the only thing that advances time. Ah, I gotcha. Let's see anything else over here. Oh, here we go. 
Bottle of rooms been knocked over, beautiful dark liquid spilling out. Hello. You. Sleeping dock worker. A man is sleeping at the table wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads wild pines and circled by a logo with a tree. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Hmm. I don't want to just take his stuff, but I'm going to uh, try to wake him up even though it's not going to work probably. We'll just see what happens. You gently shake his shoulder. Darn, that was a but nothing happens. decently high roll, this too. This man could probably sleep soundly in a ship's engine room. So, oh, I was one off, actually. That's too bad. So if you go to the tomb the again, can you reach right? He's it? on his way to where you just came from. Into the primordial darkness on the counter. Roll down. Okay, now it's locked. This open. All right, I guess we'll finally just talk to our buddy, supposedly. A despicable man in an orange. I thought it's a despicable at first. His foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and ex if an assault were launched on this building right now. If the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself wow, in really? to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Who is he to me? He is your half-brother. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we'll shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kisoragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. The is firm. You must be from the 41st. Wait, he's introducing himself for the first time, but he would... You would take a bullet for me? You have to either put a skill point in the relevant skill to unlock lock checks or some other methods that have something to do with the task. You realize he's waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Oh, we have a chance to win this, but I don't know. I feel like I'm have bad luck. If it even if it let, literally lets me invent a name, that'd be awesome. Trying to open a door with your bare hands and you fell and then you come back with a crowbar. Oh, okay. So it's like contacts, contact sensitive. Come on, baby. Yeah. Makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it. But there are still many to go. Wait a minute. How did we succeed in coming up with the name if we are not actually allowed to come up with our name? That's that's a false victory. Uh, I'll just say this, I guess. Okay then. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday, Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is. He has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Um, yeah, we talked to that guy. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. I don't think he wants to not talk to this man. Well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Hmm. Have the real police are here. Interviews? Uh, what interviews? At the 57, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface, prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter district practice. Uh, I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? No. So, the body is still <laughs> in the tree. After two days, it's horrible. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging oh, for seven, seven days. days we should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. How can you be sure I'm from the police? Screw it, I guess we'll just ask him that, that curveball question. I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. 
You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. Inspectorate General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the Rat Squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. Okay. Yes, but I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation. Uh, white rectangles? Yes. They're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Ravachon West. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. Can I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Uh, I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. Nope, I don't know where it is. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. What if I told you I'm not really PFC? Okay, we've already kind of gone through that. I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before. Huh. That you are still drunk now. But I have, if you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one. All right, let's roll. After you, officer. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by okay, interacting with him. Okay, that's new. I'm first time I'm hearing the tutorial agent. All right, so we need to go interview that guy who didn't want to talk to me. Did, uh... The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. Mr. Garth, right? You run this place. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. Look, it's so Mismo, the cafeteria manager. Uh... Carpenter of Ruin. What is gold and orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor? I'm currently in between names. I don't want to say the Harbinger of Ruin. That doesn't sound like a very helpful guy. What is gold and orange like a forest fire, but smells? That sounds like a riddle. Maybe they'll I'll, I'll trick them into coming up with my name for me. Are you kidding me? Kim's about to say something. Let him or no man help me out. I'll let Kim say something. Right. No, oh, of course, he's just ignoring it. To arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. As a matter of fact, I do. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. Jamrock? I sometimes come here to... Classy place, place that is, Jamrock. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here, and I'm not going to start working here. I think again. you're working the, here right now, buddy. I didn't imply that. Detect he probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. I'm good passing the questions. I guess we should try to question him at least. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Where exactly is the Behind body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Oh yeah, I was being sarcastic, Mismo. Obviously. That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. All right, then. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Ah, uh, I want to get that implication. 
Who killed him? I feel like if they knew that, then we wouldn't be needed here. I don't know who killed him. Right. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Where did you hide the body? I don't know who killed him. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Wait, why is there blood on uh, Kim's face? Was that always there? Hmm. Why would I have a problem with you? You're a hero, cop. So not only a cop, I'm also a hero? Yes, you are. A real decorated hero. What did I do? What did you not do? First you took the body down, then you solved the murder, <laughs> then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Oh, looks like my work here is done. No, you see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. What have I been doing then? No, Drinking. I haven't seen you around. I just got here, remember? Was there anything oh. else? I beat the game. Why did Sylvie go away? Haven't you asked me that already? What is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the you dead body me. out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. She went away because you asked for her number, but she still gave you her number? That seems so weird. Thank you. Mystery solved. Is it because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct? Stuff's killing my nerves on my feminist. I guess I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know. I just went for it. Uh, sure. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? Nope, that's it. Let's go. Hey, 30 experience. Wow. Not wow. so fast. You owe me 130 real. For what? No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely. I only have 40. I can't afford that. But, well, point 40. Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! My necktie's loud. What's real? I could try to slip away a notice, but that's probably not gonna work. Well, let's ask him this first. Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. Real. The IIR, or Inter Isolari Real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. Some form of street cred? Let's just aggravate him so much that he'd rather we just leave. No, you don't owe me street cred. You owe me money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! Oh my god. Oh, my necktie said that. At first I thought that he's... I got all scared there, really. Did I just hear my tie speaking twice? What do I owe this place for? What exactly is money? When you're so philosophical that you just... You just can't live? Uh... Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then Our the fact and Mizma just led angry neckties the the in my brain when I came to work. on my so funny shoulder. That will be 40 real in damages. Okay. Can it like... Should, should my job cover this? Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but... We'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. Well, what exactly is money? What are you, a philosopher? Uh, I might be. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room or... Or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Christine, where do I get it from? Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. 
I'm sorry, I don't think cops can take bribes. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. Um... Why do I need it? I mean, that's... He explained already. Uh, they're yours? There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. I thought I was going to say they're yours to him. That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. What happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer. Oh, okay. Fact, just explain what I got mixed up. Have the money I mean, that makes right sense. Right, then... All right, we need okay, to find sorry. money. Maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Uh, is there somewhere else I could stay? I'm going to guess they're just going to say that this is the only hotel in the area. Oh, I'll just see what I see. I'm sorry I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? Good luck. Okay. So I didn't want to give up like what I had right now because that's not even close to how much I owe him anyways. By so maybe way, I could use that for something is, else. The address is coming up blank and this place sure isn't it. Um, do I even have one? Hey Christmas Elf. I don't think the voice acting is bad. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I mean, most of the voices we hear are narration voices rather than acting voices, so you have to, like, definitely keep that in mind. Hostel cafeteria. I'd say it's more of a hotel than a hostel. It's not like we shared one small room with multiple people. We had, like, a proper nice room. Marvel Hill. Why did you say that? Uh, name must have some meaning to me. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask, uh, this dude. No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? A saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. Up on Melancholy Hill, there's a plastic tree. That doesn't sound like somewhere you, you can stay can if you can't get what money. you want, but you can get me. Um, okay, can't I just ask Hobo Cop? That was the, the banned Clay Fighter character that was gonna be in Clay Fight, Fighter 63 and a third, and uh, Nintendo thought it was too offensive even though they already had freaking Kung Pao and Hongen. If I can miss more of the ties on my shoulders. Um, I don't think I want to be hobo cop. I don't think we want to live in a dumpster. That's a little. Maybe we could try to avoid that. You could try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. We're here to tell you how how to have a good time. I think you guys are uh, trying to be a bad influence. So we have a couple missions now. Where what is this all about? Wait. What is going on here? All right, so we need to find a sad song. We need to report our badge missing. We need to inspect. Oh, we should probably expect, inspect the body. Oh. Paul Sylvie paper. All right, why do we have negative two? Wait, the shoes and the trousers are dropping my my motoric? That's not good. That's that's horrible. 
My white satin chair is also dropping my psyche a bit. That's not good. Can we just take those off then? Do we need to be wearing these? And what was this one? Browsers. There we go. We might actually pass some of the... Some of our things a little easier now. Alright, so we need to uh, go outside, I think he said. And then... Let's, wait, what was that? That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? About an hour? Sweet lord, a whole hour. And you haven't thought about rum and lemonade in all that time. You've truly oh. extinguished all trace of yourself. Uh, maybe drinking isn't the best thing to do for someone who's been drinking for three days maybe straight. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum oh and my lemonade God. to yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. That's... that's horrible. Am I gonna debase myself like what that? What happened, man? You used to be cool. <laughs> Go get your boring normal person drink. Get your drink on and your act together. I don't need... I don't need a drink. We need to inspect that darn body is what we need to do. Alright. A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. Oh god, the street sign says F the police. Nismo, I can't let my guy lick a stain off the table. That's just... That's just... Uh, pigs go home. Hmm, somebody doesn't like cops here, and I am one of them. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? Uh, you sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. I have here. questions for of you. Of course. Any directions? Where to? I'm looking for the dead body. Oh, that. That's right there. In the. She's relieved someone has come for it. Okay. Finally. Um. Let's just focus on that for now. No problem. What is this? F the police business. I'll just ask that real quick. Excuse me. She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. All right. Whatever. She shifts in her. Of course. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. I'll ask if I could borrow them. Sure. Oh, okay. I have another pair. She was fine with it. Cool. Nice. I wasn't sure if she didn't wasn't gonna want to part with them or not. Boom. Bye bye bugs. Apparently. All right, Mismo. I'll see you in a bit. Um, look, if if you've ever been to LA, it's not out of the ordinary at all for someone to be walking around with shorts that short. So really, everything's normal. Close for the winter. Now, when they say north, generally for isometric. Is isometric games that means like like northeast I would assume I'm not actually sure I'm hoping it's this way. Welcome to racist lorry driver well we sure know that already don't we uh why are you dressing my partner like that don't you welcome to Revacholmi. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island. This seemed like they really jumped ahead. Like, how would we assume that he was making a racist comment aside from the fact that he was titled racist lorry driver? 
Every school of thought and God we, we kind of failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Okay, so we're in Ravishol. It's men like you who keep Ravishol divided, making it that much harder for everyone um, to climb out of this post-war limbo. I mean, what okay. it means is fixation on the Ravisholian nation makes it harder for Ravishol to actually attain self-determination. Um, Kim's familiar with Ravishol's brand of racism. Uh, okay, I don't want to deal with this. Yeah, let's just. We have stuff to do. Is it? Is it snowing? Maybe we should be wearing pants. There we go. We don't want to get too cold. For sick. They spelt it wrong. Three T's. How idiomatic. There's a lot of people here. Um, don't work on nothing. We're looking for like a big hole in a fence, right? I feel like we went the wrong way. Grih. What? You're hazy on the notion of a scab. Smells like politics, though. Yeah, I'm a scab pouring down a uh, trodden. Reaches full from time to time. What is a scab? A kind of a worm. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Uh, you don't seem to like them much. Gotta be bloody stupid, or freaking evil to scab. Or I guess scared, maybe. But scared of what? Of who? Mm. Personally, I'd rather beg than scab. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. Uh, have you tried talking to them? We'd explain the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go His home. His name is Call Me Manana. I just noticed. Um. All right. Walk away. Holes just above the gardener. Where's the gardener? Case of a strike, press button behind guard. Medically sealed door locked by electronic means. There's no lock picking or kicking this one. A man matches measure head. What's that, a band? The girl who gave you the gloves. Oh, okay. See, I thought that this was north from there. I wasn't sure because it's sort of an isometric -y angle. Oh, wait. There we go. I don't even know how I did that. Like, successfully Lori's probably sort of fueled her now they're they store booze foreign car kept in good condition is it really though I guess like nobody has a working vehicle around here An memorial stands in the middle of the traffic oh wow light, pointing toward the sea the neck is it gone it's like a rayman horse reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air, with the aid of numerous ropes and Who ropes. Is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the squanderer, the greatest the of the Philippian kings of Revachol, son of Philip II, the opulent, father of Philip IV, the insane. Not a good track record. Not a good title. From that family. Uh, let's try this out. Even hey, we did it. Of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. In what way? Well, he blew through the whole national Oof. treasury, 
starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Rivershall. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. How did he manage? Yeah, what did he spend it on? Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable really that's what he spent it on bars of gold ornate weapon he just sold it back. various chalices he called it the sol Auron. it was obscene there were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold dipped feathers like some obese dragon wow instead of a bed like a normal person not not just any dragon like an obese dragon, specifically. Very. The man certainly knew oh. how to live. <laughs> All right, then I got ties. A fan of it. King's a king, and he can do anything. Wait, really? There's no way that's true. The plural forest, not everything would shit. Uh. This but one? wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. <laughs> what now? You see, old Philip wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. He was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Ah. Uh. Okay, where's he buried Beneath now? Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. The original was blown mm. apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's ish. Most this is a lot of lore to take in right now. Landing. Some years ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, ironic to restore the statue it would be of the most wasteful ruler in the poorest part of the, the city, statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart. Ah, yeah, interesting. Frozen in time. Wow, that's Real very meta. Trapped in amber, floating. On the sea I like it. I think it's shit. a neat idea. People in Martinez tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders. Philip the Sorry, I, 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 I don't want to wait for him to read every single thing every time, just so we can kind of doesn't seem make a little more progress here. Hoi polloi. Not that he ever did in life either. All right, let's uh, let's try to work our way back to that body. Oh, we auto save. Wow, I think that's the first save. Good thing the game auto saves. What if it freaking crashed right now and I had to restart everything? That would suck. Okay, so this is North then. What's this all about? A dune buggy or something? Before you stands a motor carriage, the bodywork. Oh, it's his car. Vapor so there are working cars here. Engine. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. Ah, we heard it outside. <sighs> okay. Ah, there's the big. Hole. That's not. Geez, that's more than a hole. That's just completely destroyed. Some kid throwing rocks at the body. He's missing really badly. Kuno's or is he missing very well? Okay. Boy throwing rocks at the body can't be older than 12. If there ever was such a thing as a <laughs> That's messed up. It. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness. Like a gremlin. Oh yeah, not a goofy Kuno! Wait. They're both Kuno and then Kuno, Kuno Essi. Uh, moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all what? about. I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Is he really? Metallica? Kuno's riding at sea. A ride the lightning is a... Uh, is a phrase that means... Taking the electrical chair. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. 
Why are you talking third person? Uh, are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us Kuno. What? Fucking each other. What? I am so confused. Uh, I have questions for you. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Uh, what do you know about the body? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Uh, help me out here. What do we want to know? If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there. The usual being. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? All right. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Huh. Who was he before he died? Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch. That's How's all. that a snitch? He's trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. The popo phone? Uh, how did it get up? Well, he's not going to answer anything else if that's the case. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. Down the road. Emphasized. You ain't Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Sounds like you're being really defensive for no reason. His portrait and his uh, character model look very different from each other. I don't know. Some fucking... Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like this is weird because if he did have something to do with the body, why is he hanging around it? That's really foolish. Then, then again, he doesn't seem that bright, does he? Where's Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can. Have you seen anyone suspicious beast. around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Looks like you're a faggoty now, whatever that means. The suspicious question doesn't really work in antagonistic situations. All right. Your test and I think we've. Lost. These kids are mean. Um, who is Kuno? Well, is he's talking in third person? Clearly, what we're just Kuno's asking. Kuno, pig. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly, the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. He's yeah. This isn't gonna go anywhere. I think. Shoot that shit at Kuno, pig. Kuno doesn't. Yeah, that was a waste of time. <laughs> like spoiled meat and curdled dairy, a human being decomposes. Letter R. Where's a crown on the ribbon? A light above descending. Kid's ladder's rickety but still climbable. I'm just trying to grow herbs in the greenhouse. How are we gonna get this body down? I don't have a the stool or anything. You with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Gross. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists oh. his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. Ugh. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Wow, we have a 3% chance to let go of our nose without throwing up. Let's ask a question first. Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow. Cock's gonna blow, Kuno. All right, let's try not to see what happens. The yeah, I figured. Is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you expected. Try to walk away. Oh, it worked. Wait, I thought we were walking away. We did it take a darn step. Too late. It's impossible okay. to keep in. I guess not. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid whoops it's okay happens to everyone keep it thank you 
Who would say I don't need your pity? That's mean. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Uh, where would we get ammonia There's from? There's nearby, east of the hostel. Oh, I remember that. We, we saw have it. A small apothecary. If they don't, there's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the rolling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Really, we have to go do something it about the s smell? Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white chip. Modifiers make. Oh yeah, this is what you were mentioning and before. And allow you to retry them. Okay. When I hold the weight of a grown man, could. Oh, money. And a magnesium. Okay. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Eternite. What's this? I think it's the roofing material, Eternite. But let's ask, it's anyways. Nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Well, might as well try this. Because it's nice and orderly. Darn, we were one off again. Pallets. Easy on the eyes. There must have been something else going on there. Calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. No, there's more to this. You get this strange feeling. What feeling? Hard to say. It's gone now. Feelings mm. pass, you see. Especially the small. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so we need to get something about the smell. It's either going to be at Frit or they said a greenhouse, I believe. This house looks kind of greenish. The mother you out a bag. Alright, now Frit was up here. It didn't look like it was a place we could go into, but maybe we could check. Oh, looks like we can now. Melancholy Pop Song plays on the radio. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays. Their logo is the Bloodless Rose. Pure mm. white. Um... Just ask Whoa. if you need anything from Saint Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. These are all locked because we don't have enough money. That makes sense. Uh, we need um, ammonia. Yeah, there's like an ampule somewhere. Uh, darn. We're, we're short 40. Um, I don't know. I don't huh. really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel... Uh-huh. Who's Saint Baptiste? Saint Baptiste. You know, the pharmaceuticals company. Saint Baptiste Pharmaceuticals. She is right. Saint Baptiste, the company, derives its name from Saint Baptiste, the city. So okay, we're gonna have to go to the greenhouse. We can't afford this. How do we get out of here? Wait, what is this? The tear machine stands. That's the time machine for a second. The sign says one bottle equals ten cents. Hmm. Oh, that's the tear machine. Wait, we could bring bottles here if I had a bag to carry it's bottles in. A machine for tear, you know. You find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, and put it in the machine, then it gives you money. You need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but we gave them all out, so. Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some out there. Sorry, we need a bag, too. Surprised that's not something they put us down to remember. Okay, we need to find that greenhouse. Well, that's the gardener. She should know where a greenhouse is. Right? Hello again, officer. Oh. How are you? Sure. Ooh. Cool. Go easy on that stuff. It Thank you. 
Wow, okay, we didn't have to go to Greenhouse, just talk to her. Alright, body. There he still is, looking right through you. Wow, that is eyes. that is not gonna help at all. Is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Is I need clearly I need to get like I don't know, a mask or something. I don't know, I guess I just have to look around now. This you think the gloves would help a little? I don't know. ...has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Uh... The box seems happy. Each okay. shit pig, fucked by the coon, and sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore, and best set mailbox also. Uh, what? I, d I don't understand what's happening right now. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankfully, even so do you. You sh- I, that was a weird interaction. What is this? Because a rose pistol half-naked dame on its cover. I picked up a book. On the cover sends a very muscular man surrounded by flames. I don't know if we picked them up or just looked at them. Books about pate. Look, you don't really understand what it's about, nor does it seem important. Thanks for to even read the author's name. John Cause from Iguania. Look about uh, Boyadero culture, promotes freedom and roaming upstream. Look about the future government reads your mind using radio technology. Okay. Do you have a mask for me, random person? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Uh, hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Uh, what kind of store is this? It's a bookstore, sir. That makes they sense. Books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, little girl. I know these things. You're fooling nobody. I said I know all these things, and I do. Sir, are you okay? You've been standing... Nope, I gotta go. It's good that I pet the mailbox. Oh, that's good. I don't think there's going to be anything in here that I need, because let me think here. I need money to pay for damage. That's not going to happen for a while. Do you want me to get a drink? I'm not, I doubt I could afford that anyways. I need to make the call eventually to inspect the body. I can't do that yet. <laughs> yeah, get ammonia to make it easier and it, it increase it to an 8% chance, so that's not gonna happen. So I need to find like a mask or something, I figure. Report our badge missing and then find a sad song. Map as well. Mm. The only thing I can think of is uh, maybe I just need to go to his car. And then we could go to the station and, like, report my badge missing and do stuff like that. Talking to people is never a waste of time. I mean, if I just keep getting more and more and more missions, that's gonna be hard to keep track of. I feel like I need to try to do the ones that I have already. Um... Let's see, how do we get up here? Oh, there it is. So if we could take his car back to the station, we can do like a couple of these missions, I think. You see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and... A oh, are we gonna just do it from here? A fuel preheat, the frequency tableau lights up, and a the soft purr of electrical kittens. Woman's radio. voice greets you. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. Uh... This is Firewalker? That's weird, because we just watched the new Firewalker movie today. 
I didn't want to, but my mom wanted to before I, I left with me and my brother. It was probably what you'd expect. It was not great, and it was kind of funny for the wrong reasons a lot of the times. Um, nice to meet you. This is Officer at Symmetry, teaching 57. How may I assist you? All right, so I need to report my missing badge, and then I need to re do the civilian thing. I should probably do my badge first. Just a second, Officer. You heard an old man greet you from the radio. 10 to 10 five. This is 41st. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires. I'm glad I know that. Turn. The man uses relay code. You've got this. You're a cop. And cops and no force station relay. 41. Ten four message received. Ten five relay message. What's your status? Over. Ten eighteen. State your message, sir. My badge is missing. Over. Ten four message received. This is a very serious situation. Is it him? What does he want? Who the heck is that? Says he lost his badge and needs to what? He lost his badge. Who is this? This is communication officer Jules Pidieu, sir. You mean your partner? What is he saying? That's my partner? Jean Levic Maire? <coughs> He's asking who you are. I'm his goddamn <laughs> partner. It's your partner, satellite officer Dietmar, sir. Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? <laughs> yeah, actually. Who lost his badge? Oh my god, there's so many characters Dick showing up. Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Wait, is he joking? Okay. Dick yeah. Mullen is not right, your right. name. It's the name of a fictional detective. Defend yourself. How about Dick Gently? That's a good detective. At you. No, Dick Gently? No, Dirk Gently. Dirk Gently. I haven't read those books in forever. So. Um. Haha, <laughs> officer's lost his badge. Haha, <laughs> like I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. Uh, yeah, let's just move on. Hey, experience. We completed a mission. I don't know if this experience like actually leads to anything. Fuck me, Mac, come here. You've got to hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. What's going on? Oh my god, they're they're give, overloading me right now. Super Copy lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. We level up every 100 XP. Okay, we should be getting pretty close then, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think we should be getting close. We're probably like at like 90 or something. All right, all right. I have. Come again. I, didn't I have to call in about the Sylvie or whatever. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Probably. Do we have a gun? Wants to know if you lost your gun too. Check your pockets. Check your. Holy fuck! <laughs> you don't know where it is, do you? Okay, it's gone. Don't sweat it, Bratan. You don't need a gun to have fun. We can still have fun. Thank you, Ty. all over. If, you, if you're not wearing your tie, does the tie not talk to you? So when we level up, we get a skill point to put into our, either our skills or our thought cabinet, which I don't know. What is thought cabinet and what does putting a point into it do exactly? Then nine coming officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Okay, we have a chance here that we could lie. Let's go for it. I'm gonna fail. I think it's gonna be like the first like higher odds one that I'm gonna fail because of course. Lying oh no, we did it. We floor. are one point. It's we easy. barely did it. Just say it like it's the truth. And then Oh, no, of course I didn't lose my gun. Yes, he didn't. Thank God for that. That would have been a nightmare. I don't even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of... Losing his badge is bad enough. 
tell him to find it and fast. Should you give me a new one? We're all glad to hear you've not lost your gun, officer. You need further assistance. <laughs> Actually, I've lost my gun too. Oh, financial. Okay. Personal details. I'll mention the financial assistance just because I'm literally getting kicked out of the hotel. 10 I hear you. I don't have the authority to answer your request. What does he want now? He's asking for money. Right. Is he fucking kidding? I don't think he is. Don't give that up <laughs> anything. He's just no, I'm a changed man, literally. You don't understand. All right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. I don't have a place to sleep. <laughs> he says he's in trouble. Doesn't have a place to sleep. Well. I guess he'd better crack the case before sundown then. Wow. Thanks, partner. Enough, officer. This begging is below your dignity. Uh. Alright, well, I better tell him about the Sylvie. No, 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 no. We gotta talk about the Sylvie thing. What's going on here? Oh, they gotta recall them? kilometers to the south. In the 41st Precinct's relay, the small room is filled with cigarette smoke. What is going on here? Did something Oh my god, another character? This is too much, guys. What happened is my partner made contact, and it's not good. He's lost his badge. Man, I'm delirious. Also Torsen is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely, and apparently telling some dirty story Chester to his McLean. McLean. Chester McLean. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Yeah, that's right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before he started begging for money. Enough. No wow, they're money. just talking about me behind my He's back. Sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us. Got... We must help him. Mm. Yeah. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. You wouldn't. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Wow. Who's where he? This shit does not leave this room. I guess I can hold up the says for that? a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. Far north, on the other side of the motorway. This is Precinct 57. How many All right. You? Connect me to Sylvie. Of course. What is the number, officer? Uh, yeah, let's get the number. Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. What did I say? I did, I said something. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Just wait. Relax. Ah, right, there we go. Uh, I said that? I said I want to get worse? When did I say that? I swear I never said that. That's definitely not something I, I would have I said. You said you don't want to be this type of animal anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Hello? Uh, oh, right. Detective from the Whirling and Rags. I have some questions about your last days at work. All oh, right. Hello, officer. You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. Was it you who called the police? No, not me. You know who made it. No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. Oh, I know that our character said that. Um, I'm just saying it's messed up for someone to say that. So the Union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Alright. Yeah, go on. Have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. No, that's not what I meant. This exact conversation has happened before. Establishing authority before this young girl seems to have been important to you. Oh. Real policemen have uniforms too, by the way. Where's yours? Uh... Yeah. 
He's in plain clothes, voluntarily. There are officers who wear the signature Perseus black uniforms to the highest ranks in the RCM and end up buried in Have you seen my policeman man uniform? Others what am I, 12? Casually. Looks like you're one of them. Uh, why'd you quit your job? Is it actually because that guy asked you? Why did I leave the bar? Not why comfortable. Did you leave because of Garth? What? No, why would you even think that? <laughs> Don't be afraid of that pig. You have to stand up for yourself. Uh, he told me he asked you out. Are you saying that didn't happen? Please. Don't bring Gar into this. It's not, I already said I don't want to talk about this. All right, I think we. I do hope so. Please Ooh, good thing we have high empathy. Why? Why does she seem angry with you? Um, be sad yes, if I fell that. You've obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags when she was still working. I think the holo cop option is gone, guys. Jeez, I actually almost felled it. Uh, are, you're mad at me, right? Tell me, what did I do? I can't remember anything. I'm not mad, it's just... You were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then the skua thing happened. It just made me want to quit. The skua thing? The stuffed bird. The great skua. You threw it against the wall while screaming, Fuck that bird! <laughs> okay. And laughing like a maniac. I think you said it had been... Giving you shit ever since you got there. Uh. Does sound like me. I love birds. Yes, well. I saw I was the one who made you want to quit. Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. Well, seen why would so you quit? What if I was gone place? today? Minimum 3% chance for critical success, 3% chance for critical failure. Did you opt in? I don't know which, what you mean by that. I've had sailors fighting. You I definitely didn't pick the like, hobo hey, cop option. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. But you. Go on. I already, she already explained what I did, but let's see what well, she says. You were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. Wow, our character's an asshole. We need to change our... First off, no more drinking. We go on by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. Sorry about the song. The hell with that song. Then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant, and I don't want to know. And then you screamed something about how you're actually a real cool guy. And no Why do you guys think it's a shame that I don't become homeless? The coolest guy Why do you want this from me? Jam rock. Uh, I'm sorry. And then I had to deal with your toilet, the one you clogged with police documents, causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. Maybe that's where my badge went. And my I gun. I wouldn't mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke. Wow, our character sucks. This is borderline irredeemable. If he didn't lose his memory and potentially just become a new person. Wow. I, damn it, I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. Especially when there's a hurricane loose. It's your fault for losing them, not mine. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this, as if there was a reason you threw them away. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. I'm trying to show you the world of tomorrow, the great panic at the end. Well, you're the worst tavern wench I've ever seen. Uh, loose sample of achievement party. Uh, yeah, these are just... We have to apologize for her. We were horrible. And she had to deal with all that. And she freaking quit her job. God, I, I know I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again. And let's pretend it never happened. 
what else did I sing? That's like inappropriate. Like she's dealing with stuff right now. You hear a sigh of relief. We'll just the end this. End of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, Abisha? Uh, I think we did the two things we had to do the cabin, there. You see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook. A pull out toolbox. What's in the toolbox? Metallic drawer slides out from under. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. He's clearly a little <laughs> protective of his tools. But Pry what can you do? Work is work. Pry bar, chain cutters, flash. I feel like we can only pick one. Chain cutters. All of these could be useful. It's robust, weatherproof, and well-made. Let's you see things in the dark. Oh, maybe we should just take them all. Unless he gets mad at me. Would he get mad? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of these seem like one option things, so I wasn't sure. The pry bar feels nice, useful for opening all yeah, we'll the handles are these, long. Then. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts the white suede feels luxurious under the top. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector. There's no use. I'm not trying to make her mad. It won't start without the ignition key. Translation. We're not going anywhere right now. Okay. Alternative translation. All right. What is this? Hey, so we've been monitoring you internally, and now we know your copper. What is that? Yes. Guess what's yours? Uh, well, this is already because you guys kept saying "sorry cop" in there, so I guess I'm a sorry cop because right here. So I'm a cool cop because no, now I know what he's gonna cop. do now. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it official, then, shall we? Well, that's nice. Huge lack of enthusiasm going on in here. Uh. Oh, I can actually choose to not have that. I'm not sorry. No, you don't. Come on. You'll be back to saying sorry in two minutes. Stop wasting time and begin the repentance. What are the other co copo types? Oh, you know. Apocalypse. Superstellar. The Advanced Interesting Cop. Liquid Shadow Cop. But you're too sorry to say those things. So, here we go. Well, my character is an asshole. What do you expect me to not apologize to people for being a jerk? Wow. Okay. Fuck off. There we go. You can't force me to be that thing just because I'm being reasonable. That's... That's silly. Uh... What am I doing? I actually don't know. Let me see here. Okay, we're not gonna get money. We don't know where the badge is. We don't know where my gun is. I don't wanna drink. Uh, we don't know who made the call. We can't inspect the body and we can't sing the song. I'm, I think we've hit a brick wall here. What is this? Oh, we can level up? Uh, so what does that mean? We could just put a point in something? We could put a point into anything? Even if it's something that we suck at? Increase the stat needed to inspect the body. Oh, that's a good, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, then maybe we can actually inspect it. That's a great idea. 
Are you sure that's the one we need endurance? Because it's to withstand the smell, right? So I guess that would make sense. Would pain threshold be with that? I guess more of a discomfort threshold. Um, I guess I'll take your word for it. All right, we'll do that then. All right, maybe we'll actually be able to uh, revert. Is that just? Oh, we could just re-revert at any point. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Now we can actually potentially inspect the body now. There he still is, looking right through. Nope. With his white eyes, the body below is entirely dedicated. See, I'm worried if I waste the ammonia, the all that I'm gonna fail stuff. this. So once again, I need to. It's better. I think I was at like eight percent before, but I think I need to. Like, I need like a mask or something. I can't think of anything else that would help us here. Um, oh, you can only revert it when you're in the middle leveling up. Okay, so, so that's stuck in there for good then. That's a little worrying because... Well, it says you can retry it, but every single time I've come across... Wait, what's this on the ground? I did not notice that before. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. What? What kind of boots? Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnail. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Uh. Not it. All right, let's try. Maybe yeah. Twelve. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth. <laughs> Maybe more than twelve. No, eight. <laughs> okay. One standard work boot steel. I'm not going to remember all this. Number 46. Two standard work boot steel. Re three hobnailed work four standard. Wait, hobnailed boot. boot. That's a lyric to happiness is a warm gun. I, n I never knew what that was. Wow. Yeah, I've never heard that phrase before except from that song. Um, which is it? You don't know. It's a miracle. Okay. Five. Another step. Six. Is this relevant? Aberration. Impossible to tell. You're not bad. It's as if the seven. The glowing outline of a standard work. Red checks usually have more immediate consequences. Okay. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Happiness as a warm gun is a metaphor for suicide. Eight. Actually, um. Work boot. Number forty-four. Well, the original the origin of that song is that John soul. Lennon saw an a a, right a gun ad that said the title on it. That's where the original seed of the song came from. But then when he wrote it, um. A lot of people think he was talking about heroin. Actually, if you listen to the lyrics. Because he did have a heroin addiction at that time. Humming. 400 million. I was pretty off then. I can't hit 20. Wow. Uh, same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Um... Interesting. Let's name it the odd shoot, odd soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal, like a joiner at the harbor, or maybe a drummer. Oh yeah, could be a drummer. He regrets it the moment he says it. No, that's there's no, that's a good idea because the bass drum, you, unless they're using a double bass, then they'd be using both feet. No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not. Perhaps it could be a driver. 
The driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Interesting if only I come up with that idea. He doesn't seem to hear you. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a put. Mm -hmm. A woman or a kid? Any way to be sure. Understood. Anything else? 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people? 200 kilograms? Let's say a heavily built worker. What's that like? Carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Hmm. What is that, like 450 pounds or something? He might be right. 200 no kilograms of living weight is unlikely. What if it was a giant? Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> there is real palpable excitement in his voice at the prospect of it not <laughs> being. <laughs> He's excited about it now. It could have been, but if it wasn't. One of them was carrying him over. Possibly, yes. But why? Why were yes, they carrying they him? They could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the guy. Alright, Mizma, you have a good one. Victim refused to walk to his own lynching. Maybe the victim was unconscious. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two men. A week, maybe? Seven yeah, that would be the time frame for them. Yeah, my brain wasn't even thinking about like, oh, this is related to the dead body right there. I was just thought we were analyzing footprints randomly because I'm an idiot. It's like, look at these footprints. I wonder if this means anything. I bought last week's forecast for Coastal Havashot. Correct. Okay. Again, sub-zero temperatures. What do I think? Mob of people. Mob of people brought something heavy to the Wow, so eight One people at least were involved, it looks like. After hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. Indeed. They all stood in a row here. Yes, everything fits so well. Isn't it strange to have your assumptions confirmed like this? This is what someone whispering suggestions in your ear would mm. like you to feel. Withholding it. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. In doubt, perhaps. It would be unprofessional of him to be sure of himself. Either way. What else? Okay. Alright, um... Alright, so I guess we'll try with the body, even though it's probably not going to work. I'm just there worried that I'm going to waste the... Looking. Because right here's my thing. You. I know that we can eyes. try again later. The body below is entirely dedicated. My to main corpse smell, emitting it is all. It worry is that I'm gonna waste my ammonia, which is giving me a boost, and then later I'm gonna have something that brings my percentage up to like fifty percent, and I'm not gonna have that ammonia to help me get a boost. But whatever, I'll just use it because the ammonia only makes it worse yeah i didn't the think so the combination forces tears out of your it made nuts. it worse you managed to keep it in once damn we, we weren't even close the second time not so much when the vomiting is done your cheeks are wet with tears i'm gonna mr magooey mr magooey man i think i want to be a cop anymore get a hold of yourself the weight is reassuring, like a crenel on solid fortification. You shouted me on the back. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing... Wow, he's points. very... he's acting really nice Alcohol right now. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. Uh... Why can't I keep it in if I've been a cop my whole I've life? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday, he's cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Throw up, bag it. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. You seem fine. I think I've lost my sense of smell. <laughs> A white lie. Not being hungover helps too. Right, can we do something else? That's probably a good idea. Clear our head. But before we can do that, you need to get your shit together. Uh, okay. We should go talk to the locals. Oh, thought Find games. something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought game. There we go. Now they're actually leading us to the thought cabin. Special bonuses and effects. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Alright. Let's see here. We had a thing down here before. I don't know where it went. 
Um, I thought I had a thought in here. I don't see anything. Am I missing something? Like, they just said, go to your thought cabinet. Oh, do they mean these thoughts? You uninternalized it. I don't even know what that means, though. They never explained it. Okay. Okay, so these are the thoughts. So... Your shit is apart, it's rather unbecoming of a competent human being. Okay, so get it together. So that's when I could come back to that. This is trying to get back home. Okay, so we have two major goals right here. Let's see if we could get our way home. And then do I click on this? It doesn't look like that does anything. Like, okay, there's a diamond there now, but what, what good does that do? Okay, hang on. Stop. Try this one. Something different happens. Like, okay, it's the same thing. There's nothing's happening. Oh, it's a freaking meter that it has to fill? See, I had no idea. I didn't know it was that. I thought this was like some like puzzle or something you had to... Or I don't even know, like this was maybe just like reminding you of stuff you already read. God damn it. I would have had this running a long time ago. Damn, this one has a long time to run and I could have had it running and like... Oh, what a waste. Well, we're not going to be able to do that one tonight. So I guess we'll do this one. But you can do more than one at a time. Factual memory returns. Oh, it's not real time. It seems like the end game time runs about as fast as real time. Now, does this split up the... Does this make the research time take longer or no? It doesn't look like it does. I'll just have those running then. Alright. Well, I mean, until then, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Because, uh... Uh, what if I tell this guy I'm a cop? I'm just kind of curious to see how he'll react. U.S. cop now? I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop's cab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here? To the wild north? Come to see the strike? Uh... A bit short on money. I don't think you have it. I need to know what's behind these gates. My friend, I respect the right to roam. The open range awaits. Does this mean you can let me through the gate? I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. The passage grants itself. If it's all so simple, why don't the strike breakers just go up the stairs? Hi. Walk right past Measurehead and go in. The band Measurehead they were talking about earlier? Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremas is there. Wait, that's the giant guy! Walk right past him. Then press the button to unlock the door. Then go past him again. And you enter the arbor through the office. The staff. Okay. Gotcha. The man whispers a jaunty tune. Alright, see you. Can we talk to our partner about that? Yes. Oh, maybe I should tell him that. No response. He, he's having trouble processing it. Believing it even. 
Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice. Like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Okay. Focus on other people. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the... Alright. See what's going on here. Do I know how much 200 kilograms is? Didn't that guy just say right now that... No, I don't. I said earlier that I guessed. I do not know how much 200 kilograms is off the top of my head. I guessed 450. I mean, that guy doesn't look like he's 450, obviously, but... Um, he could have been carrying a guy. <laughs> oh, I was close! But I said 450, betrayed, and it's generous. 440. That's pretty dang close. Your body betrays your degeneracy. Not even the bulkiest bodybuilder is that. There have been some wrestlers over the years, but they're like enormous. Like it's not like all muscle, obviously. It's uh, it's, not, it's just a mixture of size and sometimes just really heavy. Yokozuna was freaking huge. Anyway. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. What? Don't say anything. Size him up first. Uh, I mean, if that's what authority thinks I should do. I'm gonna ask, actually. You have succumbed to a rule. What? What does that mean? You reek of it. An invisible sword of a rule emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. Saw the part where this ma uh, manana warned you this guy's a supremacist. Oh, I didn't see that. I thought he just said, oh, there's a big guy. You have to go past them to open the door. Rasa Ghoul? Uh, is it really so bad? It's not good. It's like a rat crawled into your stomach, Ew. got drunk and drowned. Yes, alcohol. It means alcohol. Oh, uh, you mean alcohol? Correct. My small skull servant. Alhul is an ancient Ilmaran poison, a parasitic fungus that has colonized your race. It is a trick the desert pygmies played on you. For humiliating them and stripping them of their land. Do I, f do I fall into the Ra Rasa Ghoul? Oh. On it, I think, like, for me, it's like a data data thing where sometimes I'll. Because I don't even. Not even sure. I'm thinking about in the. Uh, in Batman the Animated Series. They say. Rasagul, don't they? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've even seen that. Intentionally fermented drinks have existed for 10,000 years. Did not invent alcohol just since the Neolithic. This is a fabrication the alchemists of Yizot and Bashir. So if I was in this game, this guy would let me through because I don't drink. Is that what I'm getting from here? Good. There is a fruit nearby. Congratulate yourself with another drink. Your features are not yet congenitally deformed. Oh yeah, measure head. I don't think you can deform yourself with alcohol after you've been born already. I don't think it works like that. Well, I mean, not like. We're not semi-easy and this guy's incredibly racist. Well, all he's talked about so far is how he doesn't like that we reek of alcohol. He hasn't said anything else yet. Well, no, he did He did uh, say we're deformed, but that's because of the alcohol. So I don't know, so far this guy hasn't, hasn't said anything uh, that I disagree with. 
so let's see here. Uh, I need you to open the door. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplogroup B Bor is done giving all of those around here. The influence of the what? ham sandwich race is waning. Ham sandwich? What? Show him the ham stool got him. Wow, this might be the first time that I have to like put my 30. I don't have a gun though. <laughs> my partner should have a gun, but let's see. Joking motion. Signs of a late stage neurodegenerative disorder. How far the Occidental Ablo group has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. Okay. You gave the world eugenics. Okay, now he's getting sketchy. Powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. You dominated lesser cultures. Like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato obsessed Koikos. Dude, what but are you now on your about? To the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. Sounds like you're the one obsessed with pop culture. You guys, you're, you're all, you, all you talk about is trivia. You will be this and that and these and those. It's always talking about other people. Right, it is, baby. Yeah, you know it. Okay. There is a button right behind him, just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to. Oh, the that heart. button right there. Just need you to move back. Push him away. I'm surprised it's not giving me a percentage on that. That's like two percent. Read about all this now. I just need you to let me go into the harbor. This is going nowhere. I'll, I'll do this to see what he says. It is my task to keep the degenerate drunks from entering the office. They just had to make me a degenerate drunk, didn't they? Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races. Okay. Bring your troops to the Seminine Islands and to Boogie Street, and we will pulverize you. Uh -huh. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Hul. Oh boy. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Meshekat's race theory. He would take you as one of his own. Internalize? I have to become a, a supremacist? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Well, not as such. What you do with the mastery of advanced race theory is up to you. You could reject the findings, sure, or accept them and become an advanced advanced racist. racist. Uh, uh, subscribe to his advanced. God damn it! Why is this one an eighty-three percent? But they said I don't have to actually get into it, right? I just have to use it to get past, and then after that. Uh, yeah. I could reject the findings. I don't want to become a racist, supremacist cop. I'm definitely not going to be able to knock him out. Alright, I guess this is our only choice. Ask what kind of Jesus. I think it barely works. Classification is core to this stuff. Ask what kind of races are their first classification courses. Okay. Do you? Uh, this is for the thing. The lieutenant looks toward the harbor's electronic door, and then to you. He lets out an audible sigh. You are obviously a liberal, sailor. A polyculturalist. I can see it from you. How do you know that I love microtechnology? And your sartorial choices. Do not deny your friend the truth, you have. 
There are three categories of race. Categories. Tiba, the heroic races. Tibe, the servile races. And the vile CF race cauldron of pederasty. Which one do you need an occasion on? Oh my god, we have to learn this just to get hit that darn button. Those are the Simonies, the Areopagite, and the Occidentals. Excluding the Mao. Dude, this is the Mao not sticking in my head at all. To the point where they find it impossible to smile. They are all lactose intolerant. Uh -huh. A receding genetic pool has led the Mao on reprehensible street parades. Who in are Mao the Mao? City, you know them by the names of their nation states. The Oranese. Okay, okay, we get it. derogative term for first world people of Gottwaldian descent. Okay, because I know what Gottwaldian is. It's like we have nicknames for made up names for other names. The game really captures the wildly uncomfortable feeling of being confronted with a racist when you're just trying to push a button. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I'm just gonna say, got it. You're welcome. The mound are proof that you can have too much occidental racial purity and tassel-centric culture. Inbreathing has led to a <laughs> They're lactose intolerant, therefore... Whom no one um, takes seriously. They may be on the council, but they are not ranked master or whatever. Okay, we get it. And of yeah, yeah, yeah. The other large oh boy! Oh, so interesting! Oh, so much education! By the and the mask. Oh boy! Man, this is they are meant to skip this, right? This is mind numbing. Yes. One hundred. Oh man, the coins wouldn't he be one for if there were Sholians? Wow, is it 82,000 years that we've been recording history? You have very little idea of what is happening, but that seems a little off. Go away, super little thought. Uh, yeah, the revolution, the revolution of okay. Now let's learn about this. A museum of felt museum of felt chimeric experiments. Breakthrough imminent. Okay, we're almost there. It seems a little bit more. Two human beings produce genetically sterile offspring. You are right. You the sage will not budge on this. Then there is the Simino Koiki Chimera. The Koiko and uh -huh, this uh -huh, Martinov. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It is cruel to all right, you taught me everything. You understand not <laughs> okay. To solve the great race enigma, you have to first ask yourself, what is the race enigma? You have not even worded the mystery. <sighs> will you let me into the heart? Yeah, let's figure out this isn't going to even lead anywhere. We will see. Access to the union is important for our investigation. Am I mildly worried? Oh he might take it. Seriously, the lieutenant thinks. Yes. You need to internalize what you have heard here today. Then return to me. This clarity. I need to internalize instantly. I cannot possibly imagine what else we have to discuss. I feel like if I try to knock him out, I'm just gonna die or something. Venereal disease. I know it's white, but I don't know. That seems weird. Uh, okay. So does that mean I need to... Volumetry. Oh! Cool. This thing's done. Whatever that's... Bizarre scientific news from Rivershaw West today. Where a police officer's shit has what? been observed at a pressure of around... 495 what? Decimals. What is that? What? These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. What? This is this is nonsense. This is what we spent all that time considering in our head. This is the conclusion. Okay. 
got a freaking advanced race there. Okay, this one's a lot shorter than that one at least. Okay. Whoops. Oh, are we ready to level up already? No, we're not. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, um... So does that mean that I can go deal with the body now? Right? That's what that was for, I think. Okay, so I should be able to... I'm worried, though, because I don't have the ammonia. Unless I could get another one from that lady. Let's see. Might as well check. It's raining again. It was clear just an hour ago. <sighs> Darn it. We can't get another one. I knew I should have saved that. I knew I shouldn't have listened to Mismo. Okay, we have a high eyes. The body below is now. entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Jay, when you started this stream, did you think you'd be internalizing advanced race theory? Not really. Not in particular. As you breathe okay, in, good. the odor comes over you. Good. It's a smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to ring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. Uh, Did you after seven days? Yes. Oh. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Hmm. This will just go one by one. Ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile. They feel a... These are clearly not boots. They're Oh, indeed. The voice in my head speaking, told me so. These are sabatons, not boots. Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Mm. Under the heel. Fairweather. Fairweather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. The locals probably scavenged it. It would be odd if he had more on. We should keep a look up for these pieces. Okay, we have any task. Could yield information. No, he must okay. have worn something precious underneath his clothes. They've they removed all his clothes. clothes. They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre. The Mazda. The Besmertis and the like. This one still has his underpants. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Forgot you were there. Clearly, Kuno would like to interject something here. But there's not enough for him to hold on to. It is. It's, it's expensive. expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary deemed it too costly. For a full set, about four years of wages. Damn. For the northwest region of Revish. That's like getting power armor in like the old Fallout games. Income is 5,500 real. Unadjusted for rank. Not too much, yes. It's enough. The lieutenant nods, wiping his finger on his sleeve. That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard, just something I scraped together from my station. He's not actually sure of that. He's just being tactful. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Hmm. Lock off the boot. Just pull the boot off. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Okay, we'll just try knocking it off small then. Bell like sound fills the air. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. Faint 
Organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones, like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would be. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate. Into oh, knock on, right? Peaking like just to right feel it, hear the sound. Notice. The whirls are in the shape of a letter and number combination E50. 100, 1000. Mm -hmm. Good. Can you read it to me? We have a make and a number. That's something. We can. The cadaver slowly. Gosh, that was just the boots. His torso covered in tattoos. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding. This is a steel reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Uh -huh. Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. Uh -huh. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I can just use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. The brief suggested as much. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Then you should ask me the first moment we get. Keep getting more tasks. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring. Para a noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering. Could be. The shape of the cadaver right. had. An the intricate tattoos. web of blue lines stretches. Oh yeah, those are tattoos all over up there. From huh? the right shoulder to the solar plate. His corpse is marked by stars. What will mine be marked by? Alcohol. Oh and thanks. Heartbreak. A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to as if someone left out most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. So am I. <laughs> mm. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it I like it the open. sound effects. Sounds like a sword being unshined. A triggered sunshine. Triggered is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication devices. Shikuno? What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. Whoa. Hey. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. Nobody move, you tell the two troublemaking kids. A sound, ah. a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece Interesting of paper. Interesting camera technology. Out. In case we need it. Right? Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. Sure. Just don't lose it. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by. His mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the phone. You've acquired an interactable item. What? Investigate this item further by going to the interact oh. tab in your inventory. Okay, I'll do that after I'm done here. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. Comically, that's not the word I'd use. On his head, his face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has popped. Underneath the curdled meat, there is an expression, not carried on his features, but below, inside. An expression of pleasure. What? This man was experiencing joy at the moment of oh, his Oh no. Don't tell me that it's all that he got auto asphyxiated to death. Autoimmune asphyxiation, I believe it's called. I'm just kidding, I know it's not called, but they're in a weird spot technologically. It reminds me of Dishonored, but a few generations ahead. Yeah, I always think that's interesting where it's like alternate history where like there's like a different route the technology took. I guess that's the whole concept of like where steampunk and stuff comes from, but I like seeing different takes on it.
Why do you think so? Yeah, I have no idea. All right, let's try this. We have a decent chance. Yeah, we just barely got that. Oh no, we did pretty well. Wait, wait, he responded, I'm gone? Okay, so I have to ask, when we do stuff like that, like, he responded to me, was there any benefit to that? Did I get anything for succeeding that? Or was that something that was literally just, I got the response and that's it? Oh, well, never mind, because now that I look, there's more things to pick, choose from that I wouldn't have had. For some reason, my brain saw these were all red, and I was like, oh, I've already asked these, but no, that's not how it works. Like, Into the wild pile yonder. Okay, so we're talking to him now. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to talk to him. In the past, way out in the west. I'm a jerk. Look at me. You sound like the voice at the start of the game, kind of. There is nothing funny about jokes, either. A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. Go ahead, Opa. What do you mean? It's the power of your... Okay. Imagination. Oh, nice Spongebob reference you got. Yeah, I bet Thack loved that one. Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. He loves those. Because you're a copperoonie. Copperoonie. You're lost, copo dopo. Because you're a cop. Here you go. You oh my god, there's me. more. More questions. Because. You're a oh no! Coming right up. Oh no, what Pop have I done? Rooney, Rooney. Fuck no. You're no Rooney. And <laughs> no, you don't. Between you and me, My name is probably your Henry. name is probably Harry. Because you have. Okay. Loved it, me and Brother Copo. It was love all along. It was love all along. Sure love giveth, no, love taketh I away. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes, standing here. Why are you investigating my murder? Um. Maybe this will lead to something. I don't know. I have nothing else to do. I am all you have. Then you truly lost it all, brother. Damn. Let the world drag it all away from you. Why are you feeling pleasure and when you do it? it Maybe I was getting my rocks off. Like Dave Carradine. It's a mishmash, Copabolo. You think I'm Messinian, don't you? For you. This is how people from Messina speak like. Well, I'm not from Messina, am I? My hair is too Dude, I have to no idea what Messina, Messina even is. You know, racist. I always trust my inner racist. Oh, yeah, I'm not picking that up. You think I am. You think I was a racist because this lump looks military and has tattoos. That's called profiling. Do I look like an erotic auto asphyxiation type to you? Can I ask just so he'll see what he says? Captain Copadromo. I fear we are drifting away. He didn't choke himself. You know it. All right. Come back later, Copo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my Memento Mori feature. I feel like we didn't really learn anything from all that. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck 
just above the noose. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We the monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. So what do you think? He's dead. I think he was up right after death. The thing is coming out. Agreed. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. Could it be he was moved after death? What what is this? Freaking nice somnium? There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. And then Empire's all about imagination. You could have imagined something correct, or you could have just had your head in the clouds. A pool of blood and feces has eaten Ugh. into it. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion. The fuck he's saying? <sighs> Talking about shit. Oh my god. Jeez, look at this happen. I'm kind of curious to see what they, how they would react to that, but I'm just gonna... Did we? I don't we'll feel lucky. Away. But there is no breath. Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might I think miss we have. Thing. Mm. Whoa, Steve seven experience. a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. It looks pretty frayed already. Are you serious? Look at that. That's like nearly broken off by itself. It's all the branch. Shoot him down. Okay. Climb up there and saw the branch. There has to be a less risky way with less f someone else. You mean like someone already did, you know, who came? We did. Because we had I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. Mm. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. But what other options? A corpse twists on the belt, like chicken on a skewer. A chicken on a skewer. Let's not do it. We are yeah. not getting him down already. Not getting him down is a task that's already a good point. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have questions. Come back. Come back anytime, stranger. All right. Well, I don't know what to do there, but we leveled up. But I don't know. This one has a crown on it. I feel like I should hold off on leveling up because I don't know. There might be something that I want later when I'm trying to do something. Okay, we have more goals here. Let's see here. Oh, right. The eternalizing. How's that going? Wow, still have another 49 minutes. After all that examination? Jeez, that takes a while. Okay. Oh, ask Kunio. I don't know why that seems like a good idea, but okay. Ensure we have to run the serial number. Okay, we could do that. Uh, click on Kim and ask him about the case. Wait, it actually says shoot it down? I thought that was a joke option. I legit thought that was a joke option. Well, let me ask the kid real quick about the views or whatever. Fuck, does Kuno care? The fuck about it? Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? Kuno's fucking's got one big thing wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. Look at him. Fucking gross hormone shit. He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. How do you know? Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. 
But we were talking to the body for a long time, Thak. Don't tell me that the dead body doesn't count as conversation. Oh, he threw it. Colonel away. tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. So it's your fault. He was wearing clothes that whole time. Kuno kicked that shit in the sea, rugby style. That shit means nothing to Kuno. Yeah? That shit means nothing to Kuno. You already said you that. You wanna fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustache union fuck. The jolly okay. yeah, cocking boots. You know that jolly union cow fucker? Came around talking about cows or some shit? Yes, you met him at the gates. The one with the boots and oh, the jolly. Yeah, he's the one you wanna talk to. He's fucking crazy about that armor shit. Yes, this troubadour has it. You can. Your test and coo get lost. Kuno doesn't fuck. Okay. Uh, let's try to shoot the body down. I the guess. Is this actually is an action? Head. Yes, we do. Yeah, bang bang time, pig. Shoot his head off. Hull. Where the buckle ties the rope to the branch, that's a good spot to aim. Or at the frayed spot. No, that'd be harder to hit, I guess. Um. Wait, is the success thing, they're giving me a hint on what would be a good thing? Like, does that not always pop up for everyone? Is that what that is? Like, am I just realizing that right now? I thought this was just part of the narrative, like, my inner brain is constantly talking to me. For the buckle. Where? Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the belt. Yeah, now we're talking. They'll miss! The pigs will miss, Kuno! Let me try. I don't know which one of us would shoot better. It just means we have a thought related to that category, okay. I blow his head off. Take it. Take okay. Shot. If you miss his head, sorry, I mean if you accidentally shoot his head, that's a really bad shot, dude. That's really bad. Yeah, take the shot. Kuno wants some of that shit. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. That's a Kiel A1990 armistice, mass-produced muzzle loader, ascetic, frugal. He then steps back oh, and assumes the fellow's position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. Easy does it, partner. He's gonna fucking miss! The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and he says missed. to himself. God damn it. Well. He feels bad about it. About his eyes, mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Probably from a young age. Whatever you do, do not console him. Fucking idiot! Muck of our asshole! Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped, is he? Try again. The authority could chime in and tell you to establish dominance, but that doesn't mean that's the right move. Oh, so that's just the different parts of our brain having their own opinions about things. The empathy says don't console him, which I guess would be like we know that he would react negatively to that. Um, well, I don't know why saying it's okay would be a bad thing. That seems reasonable. Kuno study too. The lieutenant doesn't say a word, just looks at the gun in. I have right. to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down. With can I have the gun? I should try. It's bad as it is. Us shooting firearms like punks. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Just don't lose it. Oh, he gave me the gun. I only have one gun. This is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Yeah, take these fucking Dude, we actually have a gun now. Shoot yourself in the mouth. 
Feel the weight first. A cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. You're not supposed to rest your hand on the gun trigger, I believe, unless you're actually aiming. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shoot himself in the mouth! The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your mouth? This should count as conversation, right? Because we're talking with them and each other and stuff, so hopefully there's a lot of time passing. Okay, so, so shoot up, hand-eye coordination. Oh no, apparently we do not have good hand-eye coordination. Um, close your left eye first. Oh my god, point the gun at them? That's horrible. <laughs> Ooh, I could level up my hand-eye coordination right here. That would make... Give me somewhat of a boost. I don't know if I should be focusing on certain things though. I, I have I don't know. I'm not good at games with a bunch of stats. I don't know how it fits for everyone else, but the way I manage my eternal monologue is surprisingly close to this cacophony of voices. But sometimes I could like discuss with myself. What might be the best form of action, but I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not good at, like, I feel like I'm going to spend levels on the wrong stats or something, and it's going to screw me up. What if I close my left eye? Is that going to increase this a little bit? Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely two-dimensional. Wait, that's bad. buckle glimmers. We're Slick with the falling. Wait, rain. we've lost the course, depth perception. Slow, the slow movement of the branch in the wind and your shoulders directing the gun sink up, dancing hypnotically. Look, he's crying. You oh no, it's actually gone up. Now, fucking faggoty. No wrong choice. All right, screw it. I'm gonna give it a shot then. What, what are we at right now? 28%. So it already went up by like. 11% or so. Alright, let's go for it. Forty-two. Ooh, that's a lot better. We actually have a chance. We're just slightly at a disadvantage. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, and it can't be retried either. All right, we're gonna cross our fingers. Well, I don't know if saying shut up might increase my chances for some reason because it's like less distracting or if that's just going to make them I, I i mean are they really the type to stop talking from that i feel like they're just going to start yelling more and we might lose percentage mm. would i risk it for the chance of like getting a little more this might be as best as we can get I think I'm just gonna go for it. All right, let's just go for it. Come on. I freaking shot the head, didn't I? A plume of smoke. God damn it! From the barrel, your hand goes numb from the. Ah. Uh, With your ears still ringing, you lower the weapon. Bad luck. Damn. You missed the belt, but hit the corpse straight in the chest. Bits That's a horrible the shot. From the skin, no blood, only a murky sludge dripping down his belly. The sudden stink. Oh my God, he's gonna fucking cry. My morale went down. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. I think something wrong with your weapon. It keeps missing. I don't want to do this anymore. It's boring. Start crying. The armistice is sufficiently precise, officer. Damn, Especially I lost the gun. It's not the gun's fault you can't shoot. It's your pig hands. 
You didn't know you could shoot the body down yourself? It looked like it was one of like the first options there. Uh, pigs don't have hands. They have like fucking hooves or something. Kuno has hands. Kuno can shoot that shit down for you. We should entrust Kuno with your service weapon. He says he can shoot it down. Oh my god. That's preposterous! What are you, a fucking hell? We still need to get him down somehow. The bad way. The way I didn't want us to. Uh huh. We tried. By asking the harbor for help. They have the tools and the men. From the gates, by negotiating or fighting. I'm unenthusiastic about fighting. Or we can try to find some secret third path. Uh, to the gates. Let's negotiate. All right. Hopefully enough times pass that we're about auto save. I keep forgetting to save, so that's good. Um. Damn. There's still 26 minutes. Man, we did a lot of talking there. It feels like a lot more time should have passed. Fuck does Kuno care? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. Look at that fucking shit. You're trying to get Kuno killed. Fuck does Kuno know? The lieutenant takes a quick. It's a trap, Kuno! Don't <laughs> me, Kuno! Don't know. Kip Das Gardener used to work there. Kip is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eri. That's not very nice. Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat. So, she look. Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Of course you do. Yeah. Her. What was she doing in the greenhouse? In I, I was kind of tempted. I should have I should have let Kuno try to shoot it down just to see what would happen. Much. Types of guns they have are basically fancy muskets hence the wild variant in accuracy. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait. New task? Yes. It seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. Point to the shack. Yeah, whatever. Kuno, Kuno doesn't... Oh, boy. Man, we're already almost going in three hours. I feel like we haven't really done much. I don't know if there's something you... you... You think I should How do awesome. before we wrap up tonight? Well, uh, this might be the last snow we get. Snow has nutrients in it. Helps everything green up in the spring. At least the snow the has nutrients? Nitrogen and sulfur mostly. Uh -huh. And whatever factories and aerostatics exhale too, I guess. Stop oh, at least we look around. got that what just barely. See? That's right. And the canal, the bookstore, the harbor gates. This is a great vantage point for keeping an eye on you. No, of course not. I don't understand what this is about. The kid did this, right? The red-haired rat? Oh, no. Can't say a sentence without... Or kipped. He's always giving me trouble. Uh, yep. Maybe you shouldn't be. I mean, you do your job. You've been writing here for quite a while yes i'm tired i understand the ice there's silence oh experience the smallest of smiles that's okay needs do what you have to do all right that's a little something um i think i say welcome back okay we still have 16 minutes there before we fully internalize the race through. Oh, we had to talk to this guy. About the armor or something. One of those games where you're very much finding your own way through when I want you to feel pressured into any one thing. How can I help you? Um. Okay, Cheech Marin. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. Of course, Policia. It wasn't me. <laughs> she didn't do it. It's the truth. <laughs> the little boy had the good on his promise. 
to get me into trouble, to sit the pigs on me, pardon the choice of words. What happened? I was asked to look into that armor situation. Official Union probe. You Did you? At first I thought, why not? Maybe the pieces can feed the strike. So I went to this boy. He said he'd make me his prison bitch. He's got eyes everywhere and the cops in his pocket. Of course. He serves me right for doing menial footwork. I dropped that probe right then and there. And it, it's a minor nuisance. It's all good. I learned that people don't want to talk to a drunk union man. What is? Yes. Not much. Technical stuff mostly. That was the interesting part. I did some research into this armadura. Let's say I have friends at the library. How does he come up? In parts. Four in total. The helmet was the first to go. The kid says he tore it off and kicked it into the sea. He told me so, that too. As I count, there are two parts missing. The gauntlets and the cuirass. This is where I left off. Too much hassle. More like a job for some militia. Oh, they're just gone. They don't exist anymore, if they ever did at all. Forget about them. I did. I'm gonna find all the pieces. Screw it, I guess. All of it? There are junior officers out there, eager to prove themselves. I would leave some for them, and I would leave the boots to process it. But okay, let's find all of it. It's implied. He finds it unlikely that you will succeed in this. As well, you know, you can't succeed if you don't try. I hope it will be a real bonanza for you. No problem. If you see that kid, thank him from Call Me Manana. Thank him for showing me the way. He is Camino. sincerely grateful. He is not tracking down pieces of armor right now. I'm just gonna see what he says. I need to waste time anyway. Sure thing, my friend. I can help you out. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can catch it. We just upgraded this. The coin lands hey. as if it has always belonged there. The swallow returns. Appreciated. Always glad to help out the artist. Oh wow, he gave me a straight sure up. I can do more. Oh wow. Are wow. At the moment due to. Dude. You just gave me double what my net worth was. You know, the winter spot is slowly running out and all. I saw the notice that snow guy. coming in. Nothing to worry about, really. The jam's a bit of a mess. Cargo can't get in or out. The rationing is a bit stricter, is all. Dude, it's really Smash starting to snow. I'm always glad to help out when possible. Not like these slithering scabs. You know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. All right, we gotta be close to cracking this. Four minutes, four more minutes. Wait, oh, the, oh yeah, I need to talk to my partner too about yeah. the case. What do you want to know? Ah, yes. The case brief you missed. Now, three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received a guard found hanging on his collar. Who was during that time? I, I was supposed to do this like belongings. two hours ago, wasn't I? Did not identify him, but use the word. Because I think we're pretty caught up now at this point. Ongoing, a security guard or worker of some sort. They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled. Using there's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM. That's us. The Revachol Citizens Militia. We are the police. In the RCM, or the Revachol Citizen Militia, is the peace police corps. force you and him are okay. part of. A self-organized peace corps. Just to be clear, we are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. You mean like a brief? There's no three days ago, the R during that time. The victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller didn't. Wait, didn't hang on. Like there was something there's else. There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as a unit. That's right. No, it's not a particularly mist. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a Dolorean polymath to put the pieces together. Sexy. I just don't see the case Whatever. Let's just mistake. see what he says. There was some interest in this case at my station. But not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was a... What? Good point. Martinez is famed for its occult sex murder rights. We'll get on it immediately. Is he... Is he being sarcastic? The weary tongue yeah. 
is the surest indicator that the loot Wow, that's is mega sexy. Some what are these sexy. options? Be a sex murder. It doesn't have to be a murder. It could just be so. These are the. We're going down the insanity route, apparently. That's commendable. It could still be an otherworldly sex mystery in your head. With a dark twist, he's basically so challenging you to sex it up with some lurid twist. Don't get right into it. Sit on it a bit. Then hit him with it. Wait, is that something we can contemplate on? So making up some silly, sexy murder mystery? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a... Kissing His competition. is clear. This man would not use such an expression of... You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. That's good. Better still than an imbecile cop off. It's just stupidity. The cop kind. Our precincts can decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor. Yours or mine, as if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of... Oh, breakthrough in, in, imminent. And now it's come to its natural conclusion. And we're gonna get no negative one drama, apparently. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. forget what so this is just here until we have to use up a skill point to forget that and then that clear it what is it free up the space again oh negative one drama is what i have right now okay because it's i thought it said the research bonus was we would get negative one drama okay well sort of I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about- So, he volunteered to represent the 57th, but not out of competitiveness. On the call. Yes. I am an unrepentant spoiled sport. Hmm. He opens one hand and looks at it. A moment passes. Which school do you subscribe to? Mambo? Mambo number five. Oh, Jambo. Which one's the one where you hear your tie talk to you? Mental illness. What was that? Mambo and Jambo? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. It's always good to have a police officer who can see and feel. Was there anything else you wanted to ask about the competition? If not, yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Forget Ooh. I ever mentioned it. Why did they send me... Convince Kim there's a sexy dark mystery twist. In the case. Um, I might as well try these, right? Because the only time I'd get to try them again anyways is if I had something that made my chances bigger, right? So I might as well go for these. Because oh, that one didn't work. You weren't too no, far off though. That doesn't seem right. If you're so well qualified, why can't you remember? All right, why well, we'll try this because Fax seems excited that there's a chance. One in a three chance. Well, not quite one in three, but but that's not horrible. So. Go for it, why not? Oh my god! Did it. What? We just got double sixes on that? Okay, what if you did it? Yes, you killed him. And then, as part of the plan, you drowned out the memory. Uh-huh. Maybe this is why your chest feels so hollow. You did an awful thing. And you can't even bring yourself did we to just... acknowledge it. Okay, that's a lot less sexy than I was expecting, but... Are you sure you would have the strength to take down a hardened mercenary? You're not in the best Screw shape. Screw it. What if I did it? And what has led you to this conclusion? Just feels... We are a bad person. We've learned that about ourselves, apparently. That is a common side effect of overindulgence. It will pass. I find that highly unlikely. 
It's not unusual for detectives to feel complicit in a crime until the perpetrator is apprehended. Especially when the Some of these success like, things seem kind of weird so to me, because it's like... Me. Come up with the good thing to convince Kim, and then he's not convinced. It's like, well, what did I succeed on exactly? Alright. What's this? Advanced oh, okay, we did it. Now maybe we could hit that button. Everything is calm in the eye of the race storm. Your mind is lucid and bright. The mind bending phylogenetics appear more distant and to be fair, a little ridiculous. The great race mystery has cleared up. All that's the left great is race. to verbalize your thoughts. Mystery. Don't talk to Measurehead about your newly found insights. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, since we're already here, I just hope he doesn't like. Okay, now you're on the lesson too. If that gets to that point, it's like, okay, screw this. We have a gun though. Just saying. Race pupil returns. If you choose carefully, there's probably a way to dismantle his racist thoughts. I would probably have to be so good at debating in order to do that and be like charismatic. Knock him out. All right, I think I know what the race enigma is. And? Shit, let me into the, can I Redoxley, you plan to supersede those fields with their own race theory. This race car is what rich people want us to do while they get all the money. So something you shock people with liberal and progressive people. Whatever you want it to be, it's a free association language exercise to generate race hero. I don't know about the rest, but it's clear I should stop drinking the ancient mind poison. Cool. The stump is ready to be superseded by the serial effect of measure may have made a cup. Damn it! So I need to think about which one would make him happy, unless I could just go through all the options. One by one. I mean, this guy seems pretty serious. I don't think he's... I think he's crazy enough that he just believes everything he's talking about. I'll just say this for now. Fascinating. The Revacholian degenerate shows signs of facial self-reflection. How did you accomplish this little feat? So over for five minutes. I imagine the Pinic uh face of the desert pygmy laughing at me, crooked teeth grinning. I imagine a woman laughing at me beneath her pretty terrible and beautiful. It's always more to clear me that the answer to race is I should stop drinking. Um, I don't know if this one sounds a little too out there. Unless it starts with wait or hold on, there's never a guarantee you'll be able to return to that particular dialogue. That seems a little too out there. This guy's like trying to be his perception of logical. I don't want to say it's always been 100% clear to me because the whole thing is I was supposed to be learning. Sobered up for five minutes. That could be like exaggerative, I guess. Like, you know, I'm sober, so now I realize. I imagine a woman laughing at me. I don't know. This is a tough one. I'm just gonna do this. So it would seem, Thorlofull. I find myself at a crossroads. On one hand, this pathetic self therapy has little to do with the great mystery of living organisms, the race enigma. Hmm. And, of course, you will not be able to 
free yourself from the yoke of Hul. Pauses in heroic mode. If the Revasholian degenerate is capable of critical thought, he may still prove a race adversary. Why should I help my adversary? Jean, baby, do the heroic thing. Uh, I will stop drinking. Open the doors. I need to talk to. Damn it! I think I, I think I, messed up. That is not possible. The game of Shahmat you play against the rules tricks is unwinnable. The days, the weeks, the months. No, I will do it. You will not. You cannot withstand the wasteland of. Oh god, another thing I have to think on before I come back. <laughs> this guy sucks. I'm just gonna... 20 hours! <sighs> I can't, that's too long. That's literally like, two hours of... Gameplay, I feel like that would take like minimum. It's super hard, Jean. My mom couldn't do it either. Wait, what? Wait, why did you let me in? You're my adversary. Why should I help you? Just let me in. Okay. What? Well done. All right. Okay, I'll just allow that to exist then, I guess. So I hit the button. Wait. Am I not supposed to go? Oh, I don't need to walk past him, huh? I thought the guy said I had to walk past him and then back past him again. Okay, so that's the door, okay. Yeah, that is a little weird, because that guy specifically said, walk past, oh, I get, it. walk past to hit the button, and then walk past him back, okay, that's what he meant. Anyways, wow, we actually got through, we accomplished, we beat a boss, that was the boss battle, apparently, Dewey typewriter model names on the back, Dewey from Aqua in the middle, standard, office fuck, and majority seem to be locked, someone left the coffee machine. Dark liquor in the park looks almost sentient. What is this? Look at that fum. That was the mini boss. Uh oh, they said I had an interactable item. I completely forgot about it. Is that is this it? Probably not. Oh, here we go. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time the lines intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration it still kind of looks like a map of the stars in the night sky. But something's not right. Gone. For you to discover. You've gotten as far as you will without assistance. Someone who knows about history could tell you. Leading intellectual organ of Martinez communism offers a radical Mazovian perspective on a range of contemporary issues. A cover features stylish portrait of the late King Frissel with a pair of white antlers grown out of his head. Okay. The front of this quarterly journal features a large satirical portrait of the late King Frieza. From the sides of his head, a pair we of saw white an antler uh, to chandelier the earlier color. today. Yeah, remember the antlers? Because white antlers are one of the symbols of communism. They represent a society. Big communism of builder, the comrade. And at the same time, above it, why Frizzle? Because Miss Frizzle Frieza was incompetent. Foolish and cruel. In short, the embodiment of everything the communards wished to overthrow. It's satire, you see. Flip through the pages, see what catches your eye. To your disappointment, there aren't any full <laughs> color pictures to direct your attention. 
Just column after column. Okay, right. After rifling the pages, the magazine is divided into several sections. International development. Read the editor's map. Comrade, as you know, this journal takes its name from Mazov's Describing the rigid crystalline structures of capital side of these modern comrades. Like the structures of capitalist okay, ideology. Right. We too are at the readers are going sure. I mean, it's on the radical I'm truth, even when the truth may drive away potential subscribers. Only four issues in, and they've already alienated like. the so readership. Please, if you value our radical Mazovian perspective, Kim, I think this is a communist magazine. And what do you expect? It was laying around the office of the Debardeurs Union. You flip back to the front of the magazine. This section includes a long, tedious critique, critique of the, of the latest round. round. You also skip over an article about, face it, you really aren't interested. Nope. You flip back to the front of Kunst the magazine. It takes a moment, but gradually it dawns Arts on and culture. That why they decided to title this one. It evokes a sense of recognition. As you leaf through this section, you come across recent several reviews plays. of recent radio plays. CS. As the main feature, though, is a Lewis. long essay titled the Tip Top Tournée is an inter isolari racing series. Most of this so-called artist spotlight is really Q &A. just a brief... You think you're settling in for a relaxing recap of the moment. Instead, stories. you find yourself... 10,000 word feature? 10, word the problematic feature aspects of Tip Top Tourney? What's Where wrong with it? Start? Crash commercials in the sponsorship, strikingly criminal emphasis on deadly motor crashes. So, Who wrote this? It, oddly enough, this article has two bylines. There's no way those are <laughs> real names. Why aren't they real? Have you ever met anyone named Exilus? Maybe. Come on. Under capitalism, the article says... You're not allowed to have advertising. Its price. Thus, the so-called tournée becomes a competition between increasingly meaningless brand signifiers. And that precisely is what's problematic Spectacular about violence it. audience. Were it not at the end of the day, it's the dist... Sure, you think that... But people want to see that's accidents. You haven't been reading critically. And Mazarga says no one really watches Tip Top Training for the races. Oh, come on. Can this article read your mind? I think so. A certain kind of young man reads one or two books and suddenly thinks he understands the secret structures of reality. If I had to wager, I'd say they've never even seen the inside of a motor, much less a motor race. I take whatever they write with a large grain of salt. You flip back to the front of the magazine. The table uh, of contents unfolds unsurprisingly. Much of this section, you skim the headlines. Paint the harbor red and white. Finally, there's a brief article. Cam Connor should have got a lot of when they had a chance. Work for the wild pines, all those moves just got a job. Charging rent just to live somewhere is pretty outrageous. Wouldn't it be better for everyone if labor capital could reach some reasonable accommodation? Their rent. Why should I care? This is everything you get me. Uh, sure. According to these editorials, there can be no accommodation with the forces of internet. Why do communists love puerile insults? And they wonder why they're always being left out in the coalition. coalition. Judging from the context, it's something very large and fundamental. You flip back to the front of the magazine. Okay, I think we've read enough. Oh, that was a lot. We have these tools we've not used once yet as well. Just been here waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, this is just a dead end in here? Okay. I guess we better check everything out real quick. Oh, I can wasad. I just realized. Radio emitting strange buzzing sounds. Oh wait, those were stairs. Let's uh like them. An imposing combination of a punch clock. And the payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, Tokens unavailable due to strike. Well, we could try calling it. What good is that going to do me, I wonder? On second glance, someone to has closed. It's unfortunate for the union to... Let's see what's inside. Open the drawer. The drawer opens smooth. Hundreds of documents containing logistical Boring. data and the same materials being handed over. It's hard to make sense of this thicket. Force yourself to names, go through the folders. Dates, quantities, go for it. And percentages. Look how blurry we failed. Those papers are. By how one. Unwielding your own will. Hermeneutics was almost within your grasp. But now. Is that what you're doing with those folders over there? Right. This is probably not relevant to us. The drawer slides shut smoothly. 
Alright, there's that. Postcard. Was there money in there or is it just said that's how much the postcard cost? Oh, that's how much it costs, so we could potentially sell it for that much, I'm guessing. How many postcard glimpse across the river that could after the war? Hmm. Good to know. Oh, sunglasses, sweet. I think we should put those on. That'll go, let's give us some kind of bonus. Ooh. We lose drama, but we get visual calculus. Sure. Now we look cool. All right. Oh, healing. Sweet. You can sell those postcards if you need cash money. Isn't a huge issue, though. Okay, gotcha. Seems like it is. We, need, we owe that guy, like... What was it, 130 and I have 1.6. I wonder if using that payphone would like... The already familiar cold touch of plastic welcomes you. If you, you said money's not a problem, finance, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the do it. The machine first. swallows your coin well, and seems to be waiting for your next move. All right, this is really horrible, but maybe we're really low. What? Oh! Somehow we got really lucky. Just barely. That's the dialing code for Revachol. 4952. And a moment of hesitation before entering the final numbers. 993. Wow. I didn't expect that to work. Calling. Calling. Still calling. Then. Video Revachol. 24 hour video rental. We rent 8 and 10 millimeter films for home use. This is Lummy. How may I help you? Uh. We called a video rental place. Video Revershaw is a 24 hour video rental. We rent 8 and 10 millimeter film for home use. This is Lummy. <laughs> Sir, I don't know. It's a video rental. Maybe you rent videos here. Do you know me? No. Why did I call you? Maybe you called to extend your rental period. Do you need to extend your rental period? Don't even know my name. If you need any further assistance, you can visit us on the corner of Boyd Germain. I can't help you over the phone. Are we okay, done? we know where he is now, at least. He thinks you're Jesus. pulling a prank on him. The call is terminated by the other party. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I really didn't think that was going to go through. Like, what the heck? That was like around the same chance that when we were trying to commit, make up a story for Kim earlier as well. I feel like if I start... Like, this is, like, suddenly we've opened up a whole new area. Um... Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. The white ra This is your cloak. Oh, it's mine! You can feel it. Yes. Okay, this is interesting. It does bear the RCM insignia, and we are the only detectives in Martinez. The service cloak is issued to you by your station. As your fingers touch the tarpaulin, it almost feels like the cloak wants to do Maybe my badge is in here. Comfort through your fingertips. I will shield you from the elements and give my life for yours. Plus, you spirit the corpse and shivers. And right now, the one we have gives us... Oh, so this one's just better. Why is that not dropping? Oh. Good. Wait, why do they have composure and I'm not wearing this? What the heck? The heck I could have had extra composure the whole time. How the heck do I reach this? So it's just a long hallway to another character, essentially? Alright, we'll give it a shot then. We'll see what happens. Really? This seems like a big area. There's like a lot of stuff here to analyze, it looks like. Two packs with the cigarette parts. Empty bottles. 
Oh, uh, I, I, I feel like if it buffed one thing but debuffed another thing. And cigarette butts on the ground. Someone partied really, really hard here. Oh, that was me. Well, they went through six bottles of potent pill. Well, yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was you. <laughs> Fans scouting this. Yes, this scene isn't exactly. This is the night watchman's booth. Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit is there down. anything on here that we should be... Should I just throw this on? Even though it's going to take forever? I mean, no reason not to, right? Oh, I need a new slot. Do I have the money for that? Forget. But that costs... A skill point as well, so... And what happens when you forget something exactly? Is the wasteland of reality actually something that could help me get over my alcoholism? The only reason not to is because you don't like the research debuff when you forget something that's gone forever. Oh. So this one. Learning cap for rhetoric raises a 5 plus 5 civilization. And all endurance white checks unlocked. Learning cap for endurance. All endurance white checks unlocked? That's like a lot. I want to go sober. I wish, maybe I should just open up another slot. I guess for now, there's no reason to like make them forget. It's just once you run out of new slots, then you could start making things forget, huh? Screw it. I don't know what stat I would choose anyways. I should have been doing this already. Yeah, that's going to take forever, but whatever. Yeah, because long way home, we did that a while ago. And that was only like six hours, so... Yeah, that's gonna be... It's gonna take a while. Oops, how do I... If you must. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean, and their sparse contents meticulously organized. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a Might not like a the man so you young, want to get rid of it. Dark Just like real life. Dressed in a royal carabiner. Why did you take that? Uh... Fine, but let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around. The chair is not as austere as the rest of the booth. A thin gray pillow is attached. Search for to a little seat. something, something. Secure no, stars, we're looking for alcohol. Stale Forget air that. Floods through your nostrils. Not a single mote of dust. Hell no, we're we're committed you to getting sober. We're not gonna throw all that away for nothing. I don't know how to get. Is he gonna go do that? Is that what he just went down to do? Where's he going? Did I just send him like freaking Republic Commando? Oh, you could zoom out pretty far. I'm like legit wondering if Kim's gonna come around the corner. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, he just walked down there for no discernible reason. Oh wait, I could go down this way. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate when I miss that. Oh wait, there it is. All any great machines in quiescence. All right, what's this? White pine trees printed on the screen covering looks like forest under snow. This is a long freaking thing. I might I might just save here. And then literally the next time I play this is gonna be two weeks from now. Control panel with several knobs. Two buttons marked Marsh and Alit are faded with Marsh. 
on Alet of Wickerloud Grind. The crane shifts overhead, moving a massive metal container through the air. Okay, now what? What is that? Hello? Oh, it's still going. Jeez, I thought I was like soft locked for a second. Is this necessary? And with Goodness. a surprisingly quiet. The harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance. Moving this container. I can't see how that was worth the wreckers. Except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. Let's see. Fire extinguisher. Oh no, that's health. Alright, I can check what's going on with this maybe. Before you stands a cargo container. You do? Because I don't. There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? It's a cargo container, did it? We are not here to interact with containers. No reply. You attempt to turn the handle. To your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. Wow, that's not gonna happen. Dang, if only I went with the logic route. Well, no reason not to, right? Why are you even trying to open a door with rhetoric? Getting physical wasn't an option. Because what wasn't an option? Now is not the time to get philosophical, detective. Oh, that door is not open. Yet. Oh, shipyard is oddly quiet. Great machines are sleeping. Three towers silent. Oh, finally one of these boxes I can actually reach. A musk of oil and rust. It smells like blood. Is there a reason why this is an opening? This is like the first time I've been able to touch one of these boxes, so I can't tell if I'm doing something wrong or what. Is it glitching? Is this one of those things where I need to use an item, maybe? Wait, am I using it now? When I click on that, the screen moves up and down. Now they're not orange anymore. Oh, that was just because I was looking at it. Wait. Oh, is that what I do? I thought that these items were just going to be automatically like ask me if I want to use them. So this whole time I could have been holding weapons and maybe like had a chance to like do physical stuff better maybe. Oh, gloves. Ultra series gloves. Wow. Maybe I should be holding a crowbar. I don't have a gun and I'm a cop like just in case that little extra physical um advantage potentially. Plus half life. This one is interfacing. This one. Ultimate performance efficiency is ultra gloves. Let's put them on. Tap the crowbar and flashlight in hand most of the game. Secret orbs. What? Open lock containers. Oh, you have one in each hand even. Oh, that's kind of weird. What the heck? This whole time I didn't realize you could. I could have been using these tools. I just thought they would come up when 
they were actually able to be used. Like, in every other thing in the game. Oh, word. Oh, well, good thing I just put the flashlight on. Giant thermoses. Why are there giant thermoses? It's a little weird. Whoa, who are you? Okay, you must be the character. We'll talk with you and then we'll wrap things up. Accidentally fish that tells time. Before you, dear this is a large Lord fellow. Maybe he's the footprints. Behind a large desk, he looks up from his work. Walrus he of a man. To see you, goo goo goo. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair. Yet, yeah. welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. Interesting it's voice. Good of you two to stop by, please have a seat. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debarnet Clan here in Martinez. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately, my health prevents me from getting my Right, so you couldn't have been there with the dead body. He looks extremely the comfortable. List. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture <laughs> device. You go ahead, detective. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Please, Mr. Dubois. Let us converse in a civilized manner. He's trying to throw you off your game with this Dubois nonsense. Don't give him the pleasure. Um, Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men. So tell me, how can the head of the Debardes Union help her? The chair you're sitting on really? is really the most uncomfortable wow. chair in the world. It's violating. Okay, this is the first like joke damage I've seen in the uh, game. Can the I way, get up now? <laughs> A rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners. It pains me to say this should take care of that nonsense. It should be sufficient. I really thought, like, okay, it's just the game's days. making a big Actually, deal about the chair for no reason. Manager. Go ahead. Take hey, that's 25 real. That's good money. Think of all the stuff. I just realized I haven't taken in a word he said. He said. <laughs> He seems to recognize me and he says something, something, I don't know. Um, can I stand up? You know Gart? Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. Um... I mean, he's trying to pay me off, but I don't even know what's going on yet. I don't want to just take the money, because I don't know, there's something sketchy. I'm, I'm good. Okay, okay. I respect a man with principles. Now, I'd like to This is to a check. Where the hell would I even check about the one damn other thing? Matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure How do you, you know about that? Union people are on it as we speak. His slug-like lips move, but lost gun, all lost gun, lost is an gun. echo. Lost gun, lost gun. The world is swallowed by a black damage hole morale fear. too. Only yeah. two words escape its gravitational pull: lost and gun. Trivial success. What is half flight again? Let the body take control of threaten people. How do you know about my last game? I know gun? everything, Harry. Right now, I know you that you're worried. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now. Oh, well, that's a really it into their own map. It was loaded. There were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two. I remembered that. Oh my god. Yeah, the chair's screwing me up here. If only I, I didn't take the seat. Can I stand up, please? Officer, we will deal with this later. We don't need Mr. Clare's help with this. I wouldn't be so sure about that. 
Well, this is a auto fail. Who does this oh my god! Run? How? You ain't worried about no lost gun or unpaid bill or forgotten name. You're the bad cop. You're probably more corrupt than him. Wow. All right then. Hmm. I'm not folding. I'm not sinking deep into the chair that's harming me. But I need to to like seem confident, don't I? Okay, screw it. The fat man does the same, sinking deeper into his chair than one would think is physically possible. Good. Now lean in with some corruption. Listen, Avril, pal, we both know what makes the wheels of the world turn. That we do, Harry. Let them say what they will about you and me. We're both born fighters. Because he's a more comfortable chair. Why, thank you. It's always nice when a fellow professional appreciates your work. That's it. Now kick back and add a final flourish for dignity. So Worms Lair, we both know why I'm here to help you grow your horde. What do you play freaking Dungeons and Dragons? I'm not saying I'm corrupt, I'm rational. Thanks for asking. You strike me as a reasonable man, Harry. I like that in a law man. Let's cut to the chase, shall I think we'd like to ask you a few questions. Questions will show him who's boss. Whatever you do, don't ask him about the gun first. You don't want him thinking you're scared. Honestly, I didn't want to bring it up, Harry. I heard you have become Measurehead's race. Oh my pupil. god. It's not like I'm a racist now. Yeah, I'm a big racist. It's like that in my head all the time. Of course, Harry. Of course. You're not some kind of a fantastic racist. Why is this now. game and doing this assured, to me? No one's gonna hear about it. Winks at you. No one's gonna know what you did with race there, Harry. Your race bonanza is safe with oh me. Oh my god. Word of how racy it got will never. Anyway, I assure you, I am a very well. Of course. Let us dispatch with the formalities. That's what the Hang of Corpse called you. Harry. I guess that's our real name. My god, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? I think the odds of that are very low. It might be a good idea to hide your confusion. I mean, see what his game is first. So good to hear that, Harry. Apparently, my sources were wrong. However, if you did have a spot of memory trouble, I could help you out with my big fat folder. Words flow like a mm. river of honey from I guess word has already reached him. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? Mr. Kitsuragi, would you mind? Me and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. Don't just jump to the folder. That's not smart. Shows you're on the edge. Do some probing first. You're up there talking about for a while. My guess is only one thing Measurehead talks for a long while is about. I wasn't listening. It was boring. He was like, here's this and that and these and those. I don't remember a damn thing he said. But of course, Harry. Your precinct is the 41st and you live in Jamrock. You're a Jamrock boy. He doesn't really seem to know any more about it. Have another look at that. Family? Harry, you're not a family man. There's not one peep of family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you strike yourself as a family man? Ha family, Harry, is the most important thing in the world. Well, Harry, if I were to sum you up in one word, it would be apologetic. Oh my god, they're still doing the sorry cop thing even though I, I declined it? I'm confident. Well, you sure come off as very confident in all our interactions, Harry. <laughs> You're a real man's man. There we go. See, I'm no sorry cop. I'm a confident cop who 
doesn't remember anything. Ah, this? My friend. This translates into. Haha, you guys are so corrupt. I find that very suspicious. I'm afraid this is meant for Union Eyes only, All right. Mr. Oh. I'm sure you understand. Yes. Please I'm glad continue, we, Harry. I'm glad we built into this because I only had like a 57 percent chance at first. Now I have a 72 percent chance. I don't think I want to do that first one. I feel like that could just be more on his side. Wait a minute. Drama. Don't I have an item? Can you switch items on the fly? Oh, you can't switch items on the fly. Okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. 72% chance, that's not bad. The passing grade, okay, let's see. As you Ooh, we did it. Everard covers it with his hand and pets it. He's hiding it from you because it's not a real RCM folder. It's just another one of those- Ah, now we know the truth. You saw in the f okay, Harry, you got me. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. Those There's Census something about Bureau this character that's so like, You should do something about familiar. them. He got the name from the Census Bureau, and everything else from your act. Yes, yes, Mr. Kitsuragi, from the Census Bureau. Like I said, now I'm actually a very busy man. So is <laughs> now there anything I'm busy. else? Like that means he doesn't really know anything about you. A pity. The mystery of you will have to remain a mystery for the... Yes, that's what I said. Try to keep up, okay? Could you help me get a Let's dead body on. down from a tree? You might have noticed there's one... Oh my! Don't take this question personally. Mr. Clare, the man was hanged with a cargo belt. Besides, getting the body down would benefit all of us. I can certainly see how having him... But of course, all joking aside, I am going to help you. Jean-Luc, my boy. Yay, we're getting help getting the body and... down. Jean, please take it easy with the race signs. He's had enough of that. You can find Jean-Luc down at the gates, but... You already knew that. Anyway, he's... Yes, your lost gun. My best men are on it. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage. Who knows? Only one thing is certain. If you work with him, you're going to get it back. And working with him might... Harry, Harry, I was only trying to be tactful. Kids could be playing gun roulette with it as we speak. Teenage gangs could be arming themselves. I assure you we are working on locating... The lieutenant is concerned about the lost gun and feels that the fa Excellent, Mr. Kitsuragi. That's excellent news. Looks like we have a friendly gun... Okay, My just one more thing here. There are literally millions of containers... Harry, you smooth-talking son of a bitch. <laughs> Time. Smooth talking. Oh, of course. That's your main thing. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So, but there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. Yes, that sounds good. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You got... I'm not sure I understand. Come now. I just need you to go open a little door for me. The stars aligned into a cosmic frown here he has your face we got a secret him. task bide your time however and let the stars continue their course and that frown shall turn into a smile only if you play along you said open a door oh no ones it's just a weasel a weasel yeah, is there it. Why not? nothing be fantastic my friend you can get the key from manana he's down by the gates Manana oh, Manana like has a free it. agent in the U. Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I All right, let's get the heck out of here. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Here, you're one of us now. A real red and white union man. <laughs> Look at all the care, chip Harry. bag. Or like a candy bar wrapper or something. All right, I think we're going to wrap up now. I think we, we did some stuff. Uh... Interesting game. I don't. I kind of have a hard time really like thinking of things in terms of progress and all that. I kind of am completely lost to be honest. But 
some stuff happened. And it seems like we're on our way to getting that body down now. So that's something. We're we're slowly working towards our alcoholism. It's gonna take forever, but Alright, so yeah, we're uh <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the last stream for a while, for the next couple weeks. Mm, so when I get back, I'll continue this. I still got to finish Guacamele. Unfortunately, Ghost of Tsushima is going to be going back. I didn't get to wrap that up like I wanted to, but that's okay. Maybe I'll run it again eventually. Um, oh, let's... The plot is thick, yeah. Let me just save. Make sure I get a nice good save. Alright. Yep. Thank you for joining as always. Hope anyone who's watching this has a great rest of your weekend and a good start of your week. And I will see you guys uh, 